other you people. You said that Kendrick Lamar is overrated. Bro, yes. Where's he you overrated said, at? So you're telling me, tell me so who's overrated. So you're telling me, so you're so telling me I'm the only person in the world who thinks Kendrick Lamar is no, overrated. No, because people think so Drake is overrated. Because people think Drake is overrated. So wait, I'm asking you specifically what makes I'm him overrated. You he's overrated to me because no, a lot of No, to you, what makes him overrated? Bro, but it's my opinion. What are you talking I'm about? I'm asking you. I'm all right, saying, so we can't have wait, wait, wait. So we can't have a contextual conversation. I'm saying what makes him overrated. I'm about to tell you. You just keep saying, yo, he's just overrated to me because I don't like him. What, tell me Wait, what no, makes him overrated you. to you. I'm about to tell you. Okay. He's overrated because a lot of people think he's number a one. A lot of I, people. I just, I just said, I just compared him to, to Ka Kawhi Leonard. He said, said his opinion thing. and said a lot of people. Bro. Go ahead. What the? Wait, listen, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Because you're not, you, bro, you said, a, you said, this is my opinion and you said a lot of people. Bro, Go because ahead. this is my opinion. I see a lot of people with him and I think they put him. What do you on think? A I'm telling you, this is what I think. Wait, no, what are you talking about? Like, you got, you pissing me off. Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So, shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much. I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way. You know, like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for... Some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. It feel good when you... See, you can't do that. I can't do what? You can't just stop calling the phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're a corporate bro. Like, what you mean by that? I, like, this... Our sh like, I could just... We could just do it. I could do that? What you mean I can't do that? Because you're a corporate you got I'm not a no corporate nigga. I'm a... Like, you know how people say you a suit? I'm a sweatsuit. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I ain't... I'm a sweatsuit. Like, which means that I operate in that structure, but I operate on, like, my terms. So, like, I just choose to not answer the phone when people call me because I prioritize what I'm doing. Mm. You feel me? Oh, so I ain't... I, I, nah, you ain't prioritize what you're doing. You know bad, what I mean? You could have just sent the text. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. But you a rude Baltimore. No, so. I, but I thought like looking at my phone while you talking to me is rude. So I'd rather just say hold up nah, and answer the phone. Nah, I ain't tripping. This shit, you feel me? Like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, but um, now let's get to it, bro. What's the guy named? Slim Thug? Slim Thug, yes, yes, yes. So he yes, was yes. basically... I ain't listened to it, but it sounded like he was... Basically, send him P. Diddy, P. Diddy prayers or whatever like that. I, it wasn't necessary. I watched the whole thing. So it wasn't would. necessarily him sending. But he just was saying like, look, people are fast to tear down. Like this, this isn't a necessarily a criminal investigation. Mm -hmm. Like this is not a criminal investigation. This is just allegations, right? So because there's so many allegations, because the per is he say she say he say she say, everybody's just running with it. But like my whole thing with that is, look, now my phone's ringing. Watch how I do this. No, do your thing. Priorities. Is that somebody important though? It is somebody important, but I'll talk to them later. Okay. You know right. what I'm saying? But anyway, um, when it comes to, you know, the whole shit with, with, with Diddy, I, f I feel like, you know, I, I had this thing I said on IG Live one day. People have not liked Diddy for a long time, for a mm -hmm. multitude of things. There's some people who blame Diddy for Biggie's death. There's people who blame Diddy for Tupac's death. There's people who blame Diddy for... Artists A, B, C, D, E, F, G having bad contracts or whatever the case may be. And most of the artists that Diddy, you know, stopped doing business with, you know, um, we've heard like rumors. But I've never seen, you ever seen a bad boy contract before? No. I've never seen a bad boy contract before either, right? Um, with that being said, niggas really just don't know. Why you keep getting up, man? No, go ahead, man. You said, listen, man. I don't like that. See, now you wildin'. Like, now you wildin'. Wildin', wildin'. You wildin' out, bro. Bro, you see what I'm doing, bro? I see what you're doing, but we got work to do, bro. Right, you you not focused. You know no, what I'm saying? I'm focused. I'm very focused, All right, bro. so look. What I was saying is, is this. And by, and why me saying this is, like, I've met Diddy numerous times. Mm -hmm. been, I've, I've been cordial with him. She showed me tons of love. Like, last time I seen Diddy was at the Breakfast Club. Um, I was in I was in New York doing Angela Yee's uh, show. You know what I mean? Him, um... I don't want to say the wrong name of the show. I forgot the name of the show at the moment. Well, Angela Yee show? Her yeah, way show. up, way up. Okay, yeah, way yeah, up with way Angela up, Yee. Yeah, yeah. I was doing her show, and Diddy was there. He was doing Breakfast Club, ran into him, showed me tons of love, told me he was proud of me all type because I met him numerous times. You feel me? Now, with that being said, I don't look at what I'm about to say is like I'm defending him. I, all I'm saying is, is this, right? Like, 
people grant leniency for so many different things until things get figured out. See, the thing about like guilty until proven innocent is all about who you want to be innocent. Mm -hmm. People don't want this to be innocent. You know what I mean? A, a majority of people, because they don't like them for whatever their personal reason is. A lot of people never had no interactions with them, never met them, don't know them, whatever the case may be. And granted, let's say there is some truth to that. I don't know. You don't know. And neither does the person that's going to be in the comment section of this. They don't know. Mm -hmm. They just going by what another person said. You know what I'm saying? And they, 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 they there's also that thing, oh, some sh got to be true. Like, it wouldn't be that detailed. Uh, you know what I mean? That's my thing. I what? think, um, I think, that's how I feel. I feel like that one, right? Mm -hmm. But another part of it is, I personally don't want to see another, like, this dude is a legend. It is what it is, right? Yeah, with I, or without. Like, he's, he's he's one of our heroes when it comes to African-American culture and in the hip-hop and music industry. Right. And I'm just tired of seeing our heroes go down, even though I know that we are all humans. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So, like, it hurts me to see that R. Kelly, for example, right? R. Kelly was one of like is a was a great musician. It is what it is, right? Yeah. He's a foul person. Yeah. But when when you are connected to somebody that you music does things for us. When you connected to them and you find out they're a foul person, it's like, bro, what it it it, it kind of strips away from it strips it straight it strips away at you a little bit for me. I right? hate, yeah, go ahead cuz so, I want you to finish your point. No, so so even no, I'm not taking away from like R. Kelly's foul. He deserved to get whatever he got. You know what I'm saying? Like I I think that. But I'm not I would be lying to say I wasn't the the super biggest like R. Kelly fan because I still was young. Yeah. But even when I got old, I'm like, damn, this music was good. I can't even appreciate it no more because he's foul, right? I can't appreciate the music because because what because the music, it, when you're thinking about the music and you're thinking about whatever he's been convicted of, yes, that type it shit. just yeah. is what it is. Yeah. That hurts, especially when you're a kid. So we think about Diddy. Diddy was one of them people who he's a, he's he's acquainted or he's touched pretty much every damn artist, especially when it comes to coming from the north side. Right, so like pause. When I, <laughs> that's crazy. But like, so so when I when I think about it, it's like, bro, damn, it's like niggas is doomed. We can't have no heroes. No, I'm like, not. I, I don't agree that's, with that. No, that's how it feels. Sometimes. I don't. I don't agree with that. But bro. you don't have to agree. I'm saying that's how it feels sometimes for I, me. I, I hear you, but all right, look at it like this, right? Now, I I'm saying like, if everything is true, I feel I feel like two things can be true, right? Now, again, I don't know what Diddy did or didn't do. You know what I'm saying, but. A lot of good people do bad things. For sure. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people abuse power. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use their positions to get over on people, to do people dirty, to take advantage of them. And um, that that's real. You know what I mean, like, that's real. So I don't want to, like, minimize nobody, nobody's what they've gone through, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't, uh, what I'm saying is, is like, I, not that I have to agree with what you're saying, but there are tons of people that do great, that never go through these things. The problem with us and our community is, is we look for entertainers to lead us, bro. Listen, that's our biggest problem. Our biggest problem is, if I like the way a nigga sing, dance, pause, rap, whatever, they entertain, that's just that and that's where it stops. I don't have to, just because this person made it or made tons of money or became successful, does not mean that I have to be married to their success or their demise. Now, you got to be objective in a lot of these situations as well. Could there very be? Could there very well be truth to this? Could be. Could it be absolute bull? Could be. End of the day, do you know? No. End of the day, do I know? No. But that ain't got nothing to do with feeling hope. Like you should not feel hopeless. No, not hopeless. I'm saying I feel like it strips away from me a little bit. And I say that to say because. Bro, I get what you're saying, but you talk, you're talking from a grown man perspective. I'm right? a grown man. You're yeah, a grown man too. Yeah, yeah, but I, sometimes like, that's, that's why I like being in the space I am because I don't talk just for me. Like I'm talking I, I for, feel that, but I'm, talking, just... I'm talking for the the, the 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 little boy in me as well. Pause. Damn, that was crazy. <laughs> but like I remember those times. Like, I feel like yeah. when niggas have so much success, like y'all forget where we where you came from. Yeah, but at the same time, though, bro, you're not a kid. Like stop. But you have a, so think about your son. Your son yeah. has athletes that he look up to. Right? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, like, he knows that we are all human and things like that. But I'm pretty sure as an athlete or somebody somewhere, he's like, man, damn, like, he he probably have a, he feel like he got a real connection to that person. If that person go down, that probably will hurt a little bit. All right, look, bro. 
This is the problem. I'm gonna keep you a hundred. See, like you go to church. Like I'm Muslim. Mm -hmm. You go. You know what I mean? What's your? Uh, I'm Christian. You Christian. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the problem that happens even in, when it comes to faith, bro. Even in faith, they use their knowledge of faith as a tool against people. Yeah. To do bad. You're right. Now look, look. You see how you said that, right? As people be revering, let's say the preacher. They be revering the preacher because he gives, like, especially when you're in the fucking hood, when you're in the ghetto and you ain't got no hope, a person that speaks light into you, speaks positivity in you, as much as everybody, like, uh, like appreciates that, they forget the fact that he's a man and he's he might person. like to get his dick sucked. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he might not want his wife to do it every time. You feel me? So it's like at the point where he does something, then it's like, oh, man, like, Oh no, no! You know why? We have to stop looking as as men and women as stop, idols, bro. I, yeah, stop, I, bro, yeah. I'm, what, bro. N now look, what I'm saying is because you made a point about like your younger self, right? Being your younger self, saying, like looking, like growing up and saying, "Damn, this is a person that inspired me," which is fine. Like you can still be inspired by somebody, even if they did something wrong. Don't mean that you got to follow their path. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you got to know when that shit stops. You are right, bro. You have to know where it stops. Like, like, look, like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I love. My, I never seen this go in my own eyes. I never been to a game. I never been somewhere, and he was right there. And I see. I've never seen him with my own eyes. But this man has been a a, a person that's inspired me through sports, mm -hmm. right? I've argued with niggas. I've fell out with friends when I was a kid arguing over Michael Jordan because people ain't just start not liking Michael Jordan. I mean, it's always been a thing. With that being said, there's things that people have said about Michael Jordan that are negative about him. Well, I'm just like, all right, well, I like him for that. Yeah. I ain't really trying to get into so what a nigga if, do. If that's not that's not that's not concrete though. If it came out concrete that oh no, nah, it's been concrete. I'm, I'm talking that about he like, don't like black black people. Nah, nah, nah. They don't want black people wearing stuff. I'm nah, saying, nah, he never it, said that. But, I mean, it, but but bro, it, like I'm gonna keep it hundred, bro. As a black person, I don't like all black people. Like saying. like just keep it I'm a, saying, a stack. If like, it came out concrete that I'm not trying to. Well, there's nothing on nobody, but he came out that he's a, a serial rapist. Like, you still gonna be walking around with his Jordans on? Probably not. But that what that wouldn't hurt a little bit though. That wouldn't sting. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it wouldn't sting. I'm just saying is that like. So you're challenging. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm. I get what you're saying. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I do understand that we are human, and if I get that, 100, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying that it hurts a little bit to see our heroes go down like this in a in a manner that they're going down like being being a child molester bro like that's foul nah, it's insane it's insane yeah. but but I, but but see yeah. uh, women trafficking is foul so what i'm saying is yeah granted i'm not putting none of this on this man right now i'm yeah. just saying if that was to come out it hurts because it's like yo and you say like yeah there's a lot of people that's doing great but a lot of people ain't diddy a lot of people ain't r kelly like these aren't no that's these, a fact these no, aren't we're fact. not talking about just regular plain james Joe Smokes. I know, but at the same time, bro, it's like, all right, look, 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 bro. It come, All I'm saying is, and I, I, I think that two things could be true. I think For that sure. you're right at what you're saying as well. I just think that, like, people got to be able to separate. You right. Like, like you got to be you got to be able to separate. Because even now, look, when it comes to R. Kelly, I never was a big R. Kelly fan. When I was a little kid, R. Kelly music started coming out when I was a little kid. I'm talking about elementary school. Yeah. Like, that was before my time, so I, yeah, yeah. I, I I never really was a big fan of his music like that, and for some people that's crazy. Nah, but yeah. for myself, like I just ne never was a big fan. So like when shit started transpiring, I didn't really give a fuck. like I didn't really care. I didn't look at it like oh here they go tearing but down another black man. Imagine that that happened. If, but bro, again, if you Jordan if, or, or Kobe. if you a black, listen, bro. Regardless to if you black, whatever, bro. If you do foul. Shit, you got to be held accountable. No, so, I'm so, with that. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm agreeing with so you. So the thing about bro. it is, is like at, at the same time, it's like you, you. We also got to look at the look at it from the side of this, right? Like if you a grown ass man or woman, because it's not only men who do horrible things. People do horrible things. For sure, 100%. you feel me? If you're a grown ass man, if you're a, a grown ass woman, and you do something horrible, you know what I'm saying? We have to stop. First of all, we addicted to trauma. Our people is addicted to trauma. It's 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 horrible when it's this, but it's cool when a nigga kills somebody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not trying to compare the two, yeah, no. but people pick and choose what means something to them, where their moral compass is, depending upon how much they like the person. Yeah. Same shit with King Vaughn, bro. When it came into King Vaughn, now look, I met King Vaughn a few times. When I met him, cool, but I met him in cool settings. I met the nigga at Dirk's birthday party. Everybody was playing basketball. He was super duper cool. I met him in the studio one time in Charlotte during All Star Weekend. Super duper cool, right? Now. When he, when he passed, you know what I'm saying? 
fucked up situation. But if it was Quando Rondo, that would have passed. The way people are so into the brand of what they think King Von was, like they painted him as this killer yeah. and they talk about him being a serial killer. People so addicted to like cheering for a motherfucker dying that if if the, if the tables was turned, they'd be celebrating King Von for something that happened to Rondo. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? End of the day, bro, our people just hurt. I'm just tired of our people hurting and and and, and, and this, internalizing hurt over what somebody but this else does. Our people more is what I'm saying. For example, me and you, mm -hmm. we just building this relationship. But even like, or maybe that's not a, the best, your best friend, right? You're not idolizing your best friend, but it, like you said. I don't know. But like you said, though. I idolize some niggas that I grew up with, bro. I can't lie, bro. And, and it's led me to good and it's led me to bad. Yo, Get off your phone. But I got people downstairs. But like I said, though, right. what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. is, not outside of idolizing, you said something that made sense. You was like, yo, if a nigga do some fucked up shit, you got to hold him accountable to that. Yeah. And because I'm a man, I, I stand on that. Yeah. So it hurts when a nigga that's close to me, even though Diddy ain't close to me, R. Kelly, but they had something that that, that I, I value close in proximity, whatever. You know what Just I'm inspiration. So, so, yeah. So what I'm saying is, if my close friend did some foul shit, like, break... Do you say free your homies? I don't really have homies that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? All right. I'm a, well, but, but finish your point. I, I want to make a, a point a about that. If I a close friend or a family uh -huh. member that I care for... Yeah. And he raped a, a, a little girl. Oh, no, he got, that's inexcusable. But that's, what I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. Well, you know, that's what I'm saying about R. Kelly Diddy. So if he does that, it's going to hurt me because I, you're not my friend no more. Because oh, I yeah, got to no, stand no. 10 toes on it. So that's what I'm looking at. When I'm looking at P. Diddy's, when I'm looking at R. Kelly, I'm not saying Them me because I'm a grown. your friends, I'm, though. I know, but I'm not saying, <laughs> no, I'm not saying me as a grown man. I'm thinking about me when I was a kid, but bro. You, but yeah, but, but you got to get over that. But no. You got to get no, over that. Nah, that, bro. You got to get over that. That's who I am. We just talked about this. I feel you, but you got to get over that, bro. No, wait, no. You got to hit me out. As a grown man, mm -hmm. I know the difference. And I'm trying to tell you I know the difference. I know that you but know I'm the difference. But I'm saying that it's kids out here mm -hmm. who don't know the difference yet. And I was one of those kids. That's what I'm trying to That's what I'm trying to talk to you when I'm talking to this point. That's why I want to talk about this. Because when I'm talking to it, I'm talking to my wife or like other people. And they like, man, if that nigga did that, man, fuck that nigga. And I'm like, nah, because it ain't just fuck that nigga. Because now, that what, is it, what, what does that do for all of the young kids that's looking up to him? What does that do for all of... He has real fans. What does that do to our world? Not trying to be on some... World peace type shit, but what did that do to what did that do to to everybody else? When I was in Baltimore, right? But you can't uh, hold on. You can't say, hold on a second. You can't say if he did it. Like now, look. If if it, bro, that's why context be mattering, bro. Like you just said when you gave the analogy mm -hmm. of your friend. If it was a known fact that something horrendous happened, mm -hmm. whether it's your friend or your favorite entertainer, and through this tenure of them fighting for their freedom, they're saying, I didn't do this, I didn't do this, I didn't do this. And then we and then some factual shit comes out and it's a a video. It's concrete. Concrete, a video, a fucking picture, a this, a that, right? That shit comes out. Um, you can't not say I went this I I don't know if you gotta use the same verbiage as fuck them, right? But you gotta be like, oh nah, I ain't cause cause guess what, bro? It's it's like J. Cole's song, False Prophets. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like, sometimes you look towards people and they be selling snake oil. You know what I mean? They be snake oil salesmen. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Selling the bullshit. A lot of times, bro, niggas be, yo, just in hip-hop overall, bro, it's a detrimental genre to just living, yeah. bro. Like, let's just keep it a stack. And it's smoke and mirrors. All this shit. It, it that is. Niggas talking it, about a bunch of shit that they like. A lot of it is smoke and mirror, And that's what I'm saying, bro. And everybody, like, I hate when people say, oh, everybody always runs with that term. Oh, y'all you pick and choose. No, everybody picks and chooses, bro. Everybody can talk about a situation to lay in a situation. Mm -hmm. Same thing with somebody talking about, oh, a nigga who ratted. Look, oh, if a nigga rat. Look, you know, look, most, most times, I'm not, this is something that I really dealt with in my life. A nigga talk about, oh, if a nigga ride it, I would like I would never. And a lot of those people never went through no situation like that. I, I didn't have friends that really been in them that really been in them situations. And then you have to alienate yourself based on your affiliations or what it is you're doing. And motherfuckers don't, a lot of people don't know what that's like. Mm -hmm. They could talk about that shit or could talk about what they would do. Everybody got a plan so they get punched in their face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I look at it from the standpoint of this, bro. I can honestly say. My dealings with Diddy over the past few years have been cordial. I met him through mutual respect mm -hmm. from the work I was doing and a nigga taking the acknowledgement and showing love and being around him. And when I see him, showing love. I ain't never been around him personally. Right. So I'm, I can't, I, I, that's another thing. I don't vouch for like, 
I don't vouch for what grown men do or don't do. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at, at, at the same time, it's like, I just feel like people got to let things play out. Well, you know, you're still talking from a grown ass man perspective, bro. And I gear, what what I'm trying to tell you is you right, right? But you. All right, so let's end the circle because we ain't going to do this no, for the no, whole no, time. No, 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 because right? what I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get it through to you. Like, growing up in Baltimore, right? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a word called desensitization. Being, desensitized. Being, being, I know what that being means. Desensi being desensitized, right? I know what that means. So, I never say you didn't. But being desensitized, right? You in Baltimore, like, if I see a bunch of people get killed, sometimes it's like, man, well, shit, death is, it just is regular, right? Yeah. But also, there's another side to that where it's though, you you got a guy that's trying to get out, but, like, this is how I felt sometimes. A lot of the guys, like, the G-Songs was a, a super big comedian, right? Who? Uh, his name was G-Songs. Mm -hmm. um, Lil Scooter, he was getting co-signed by Diddy, getting getting co-signed by Meek, you feel me? Like, yeah. he was the nigga that was next up, you feel me? You see these niggas die, then you look at yourself, it's like, man, I'm trying to be great, but they were more successful than me. They getting killed. What's... What, what, what's yeah, what's, yeah, what's I, going I get, to happen to me? So that's I, I what I'm saying. You, so I'm not saying. I, so I'm I, not. I, listen, I'm not saying that yeah, yeah, yeah. grown men for sure can differentiate. Like, yo, I can. Me personally, people might not agree with this. I can differentiate the music and the person. So I damn sure can differentiate. I know niggas is regular. Like none of these niggas is better. Like that's how I operate. But I'm saying I didn't operate that that way all my my entire life as a person. You know what I'm saying? I, I was a kid who looked up to people and I know there's other kids out there as well. So for me, it's like, yo, if you take away all of our, I, not idols, but if you take away all of our um icons or whatever, it's like, yo, what does that tell the young dude that's trying to be that person? Even even a grown up, what does that tell of the person that's like, man, I'm about to be the next Diddy? I get you, a, bro, but, but that's, I'm, I'm just, I just think that like, look, I just think that like, so you can't. You're not, you're not saying that. nothing. You're saying. not saying nothing wrong, but I just feel like you're looking at it from a small scope because that's just one person. It's, it's tons of other people, bro. It's it's tons. It's not tons of Diddy's. I'm not talking about just it's Diddy, not bro. Tons of R. Diddy's not the only. Diddy it's, and R. Kelly's not the only niggas to look up to in life, bro. No, that's or to be inspired no, by in life. Fact. Those is two niggas, bro. Yes. So I'm, that, just, I'm just saying, it's like you, you say, it's tons of niggas. It's, it is it's tons, tons of niggas. It is tons of no. It's tons of successful people that don't fucking sing and dance that that you can be inspired by. That's my thing. Why you know you're. They're I not only taking, Wayne, bro. You talk. I, you're saying I'm talking. I'm, listen, listen. You use an example of two niggas, bro. You're, because you're you're making it. You're saying that I'm thinking about it in a smaller scope. No, I'm just being. I'm 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 not intentional, but I'm being very niche. What what I'm talking about? I'm talking bro, about every what I'm, talking I'm just about. saying I'm not talking that about every nigga, else. bro. Every nigga that get in trouble is not Malcolm X, bro. Right. I, that's what I'm saying. Like every yeah. hold on, every hold on a second, bro. Every nigga that gets in trouble is not some fucking upstanding. Man, and I'm not, and I'm not even talking about Diddy. I'm just speaking generally. Every nigga that get in trouble, bro, is not some upstanding, was trying to do the right thing, Fred Hampton type nigga, sure. and the police just plot on them and fucking take. But that's their not lives. what I'm saying, though. I know, but the way you're, fr the, wait, hold on a second. I know that you're not directly saying that, but the way you're talking, bro, is like you're saying, yo, if they keep taking every, bro, bro, who's everybody that got taken no, away no, from no, us? No, that's no, not, no, no. If, 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 if that's how it's, I, I'm not trying to make. What I'm saying is. Bro, if you continue to see niggas getting killed, no matter if they, yeah, if, no matter if they not... have, no matter if they, if they one foot in and one foot out, it's still gonna do something to you. That's all. I'm not. What about niggas... Pharrell? Pharrell's a a, a great For, guy. Pharrell is a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. well, what about Pharrell? But Pharrell what about... is not Diddy though. We talking about music industry. Pharrell is Pharrell not Diddy. Is not, let's, He's uh, not Diddy. No. Bro, hold, hold on a second. 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 You're not, you're not, you're not about to renegade me on this. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What I'm saying in comparison, Pharrell is a music mogul. He's a fashion mogul, right? And he's, he's still a, not Diddy. He's a music mogul. He's a fashion mogul. He's a music producer that actually sat on the boards and pressed keys and worked on tons of albums and tons of hit records from everybody from the top rapper to the top pop star. So what I'm saying is, is when you're saying he ain't Diddy, is you're thinking about the name and the uh, the the uh, uh, the name and the mystique or whatever the case may be, and you're not comparing careers, bro. If you comparing careers, I'm not saying that Star Trek was bigger than Bad Boy. What I'm saying is that Pharrell, as a musician, as a fucking musician, the same as a Dr. Dre. Who's in the same conversation? He's in the conversations, bro. Yes. He's in the conversations as a musician. Yes. As a musician, bro, you're not going to sit here and tell me that the, a nigga Pharrell Williams, who went from the first time we heard him, he produced fucking Rump Shaker for, for, for Teddy Riley and is now 
doing the fall line for fucking Louis Vuitton and made Billionaire Boys Club and brought us the clips and fucking Justin Timberlake records and Robin Thicke and records with Jay-Z and everybody else is not an important black man I in this shit, that, bro. bro. No, but you say he not Diddy. Bro, there's so there's no other Pharrells. He's a he's a, a household name. Bro. All I'm saying is, is you you bro, you acting like the fucking the, the ship is going down forever because of one nigga. No, I'm not, bro. Yes, you you're, are, you're bro. taking that you're taking the words of my wife and I'm not him. taking words. Listen, out your mouth, listen, but I'm telling you what you're it hurts, saying. Listen, listen. If I say it hurts to keep to keep saying our greats fall, you're like, no, niggas need to understand that they're human. I understand that. I'm saying that that's not the only that, point I made, though, bro. It, it hurts to see our greats fall. You're saying we got other greats. I get it, but yeah. again, to a nigga who don't know, right? Because you're in the music industry, you knows, you know. But no, Wayne, no, you can't take a, you can't take away from your knowledge in this. Shit. And to a nigga, to a nigga that don't. So you telling me, bro? So only people. Let me tell you. Let me ask you this question. The only Niggas who can be inspired by shit is niggas that come from the hood in the trenches. No, that's the only because no, because no, no. you're talking. No, listen, you you speak for a certain place. I'm not knocking that. I speak for a certain place. So wait, wait, I, wait a second. I speak for a certain place. You speak for a certain place. We speak from poverty. We speak from the hood. So the hood is the only niggas that there that 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 can look to people and say, oh man, if if that nigga falls, then what can I be? That they the only niggas no. that can do that. No, bro. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen. If your lady's on go, but your meat got a fro. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, don't use the clippers you use on your face or on the head below your waist. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, fellas, you want that jumper like Steph Curry, but your nuts is fairy? But nah, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Use promo code JHill for 20% off. They're going to give you a, the, the man bag. You know what I'm saying? When you're traveling, put all your grooming needs in the man bag. You don't got to carry it in your book bag. You don't got to be all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? They got the nose trimmer. Listen, man, some of y'all know it's disgusting out here. Get you a nose trimmer. For real. This shit is disgusting. Some ball deodorant for when you out and about. You about to get it on. Put that ball deodorant on. Smell fresh, brand new. And of course, the lawnmower 5. Make sure you holler at my guys at Manscaped. J Hill promo code. J Hill, one word. 20% off and free shipping. All I'm saying is, you said it too can be right, but you're being very dismissive of my point. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that you're not right, bro. I I'm not trying to be speaking, right. But you're speaking, what I'm trying to tell you is, you're speaking from a, a grown man perspective. You're also speaking from a nigga that's been in the industry and knows, and knows this shit. And so I'm respecting you for that. All I'm saying is, when I say Pharrell's and Diddy, I'm saying from on a... On a bigger scope of things, like, yeah, I can acknowledge who Pharrell is. I know who the fuck Pharrell is. But I'm just saying, if we had to pe compare them, if we had to put them side by side and have everybody in the world look at Diddy or Pharrell, niggas, most people are going to know Diddy. And no, I'm not, but no, but, but you're saying, saying knowing, like, but I'm not all right, saying, I'm not taking nothing away from what it's Pharrell is. It's schematics, but. All I'm, all I'm just saying is, bro, when we're talking about influence, I would like to believe Diddy has a bigger in, uh, a bigger impact on the influence of our culture. And if you have somebody that don't really know too much, they probably like, oh, I seen Diddy. That's all I'm saying. So when I'm saying it, it hurts to continue to see our greats, not saying that Pharrell wouldn't be isn't great. I'm not saying that it wouldn't hurt if we if Pharrell fell. I'm just saying we keep seeing our greats fall to being fucked up individuals. And from what I stand on, right? If you're a nigga in the industry and you like, man, I'm gonna make it. On some solid shit, and you see, keep saying all the great, the great niggas had fucked up shit going on, with, going on with them. R. Kelly, uh, fucking Bill Cosby. Now P. Diddy. Hopefully that shit is wrong, but you continue to see that. It's like it kind of make you feel like, damn, like you can't get to the top being a straight up nigga because all these niggas is foul. Of course, not all of them. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, no, because that don't, bro. Look, this is what I'm. So saying. that's not a point. So that's that 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 can't that that don't make what no I'm sense. What I'm saying is this, bro. What I'm saying is this. You look if you so say nothing look, I just wait, said makes sense. I ain't say it don't make sense. What I'm saying it is this, bro. You said if you a nigga that's you trying to do shit solid, whatever being solid means, because everybody has a different definition for that, right? But you see Bill Cosby, right? R. Kelly, Diddy. They did the same thing to Michael Jackson. And con uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And a common denominator, <laughs> the common denominator between these situations is that. These niggas like the fuck, maybe a little bit more than other people, and they. No, nah, let's keep it a hundred, cause that's if we're talking about Diddy, what he's alleged of. If you're talking about R. Kelly, what he was convicted of, or you're talking about Bill Cosby, what he was alleged of and convicted of, or whatever. What does it involve? It involves sex, right? Mo hold on, it all involves sex, right? But it, it also invo involves kids. 
it, I'm not listen, listen, bro. It involves it involves kids or whatever. It involves sex. Now listen, we can't bro. Can't say kids or whatever though, you know. Listen, all right. I, I'm just no, done, bro. What? I'm done, bro. I'm done because what? because 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 a nigga I'm like the done. fuck. I'm not judging a nigga. I'm done, if bro. If R. Kelly was just fucking hoes, I'm not not listening to what the music. What I'm saying is, is that these niggas are alleged sexual predators. Yes. These niggas is alleged sexual predators. Yes. And if you're a nigga. And you see that niggas is alleged sexual predators and facts may come out by evil or, or, or let's say all hypothetically speaking, all three of them was guilty of what they did. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to say, I can't be something because these niggas, wait a sec, bro, that makes no sense to me. That does not compute said, to I said that No, but it's not, you keep saying, bro, like we, cut, we keep running into the same wall. But I, and no. I don't want to keep, listen, bro, I don't want to keep harboring on this same conversation because I feel like we'll be here all night saying the same thing over and over because and over I'm and over. You, what I'm saying is, I let you, I let you make your point. What I'm saying is, is this, bro, if you think that because a nigga like Diddy got to whatever his mountaintop was or, or R. Kelly got to whatever his mountaintop was and Bill Cosby got to his, his mountaintop was and they got and, and their downfall is potentially because of what they allegedly did in their spare time or whatever and you look at yourself and you look at yourself and say, damn, how could I make it there? Because they made it there and look what happened to them. I think that's ridiculous. Okay. I just think and, that's, and, I'm and, just keeping, because I'm saying, that's, it's individualized, saying, bro. What, what, what it's individualized. Is, what I'm saying is, bro, that's very dismissive, right? Okay, of, and, it could be, and, and that's that's fine. It's just that's not what I stand up because I'm right. I like everything you said. I said that's true, right? But when I'm when I'm mentioning is kids out here because I was one of them kids. You're saying that's ridiculous, and like, and that's why I'm saying I'm getting offended by it because like, bro, what do you mean that's ridiculous when your son might look up to one of these niggas like that and you don't know? My son and, got his father, bro. Right. My right, son but, got his father. Okay, hold cool. on, my, hold on, hold on. My son got his father. My son. But what is, about the kids that don't have that father? All right, well, bro. you ask me about my son, nigga. What the fuck is you right, talking no, about? No, 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 fair, you, fair, you, fair, Talking fair, about my son. So, so it's kids out there who don't have their fathers, okay. right? And I'm saying we just gonna say fuck them like it's ridiculous. No. I didn't say fuck them, but bro, why the fuck? This is my. This is the problem. We have to stop looking to entertain us to fucking lead us, bro. You right? Listen, though. listen, listen. I'm, I'm with you, when, when, when it was black, when all the black lives matter, when George Floyd shit happened and everything, and shit was at its highest tensions in this country, everybody was wondering what the fuck Kendrick Lamar one was gonna say. Everybody was wondering what J Cole was gonna say. Here comes little baby with the fucking the 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 black the, the black power anthem at that time, right? Totally left field. Nobody thought that was coming. But why the fuck is we worried about... Hold on a second. Why the fuck is we worried about what J. Cole and, and Kendrick Lamar is going to sing about when we got real people that's on the fucking ground that's making... I'm not talking about nobody that's involved. Yeah, no, real people that's currently... Listen, like, I'm, not, people. I'm not talking about... Niggas Niggas could joke on... People joke on niggas like my son and, and, and Al Sharpton and all of that. But them same people who joke, what the fuck do they do when it's time to get on the front lines and go protest or go talk to, when, when niggas is getting killed and they going talking to these people's mothers and and internalizing this, their, their, their pain and, and going and, and, and putting themselves in a, a vulnerable position to help other people. That's all I'm saying, bro. Instead of looking for a nigga who sings and dances to fucking lead you to whatever your promised land is, because the, the, the that's the thing. Everybody's not meant to fucking entertain. Some niggas got to work at Costco for the rest of their fucking life. Some niggas got to work at Target for the rest of their fucking life. Some niggas got to drive Uber for the rest of their fucking life. Just because you drive Uber for the rest of your life and Diddy or one of these niggas didn't make it don't mean that you're not going to be nothing. So my thing is, is that everybody got to stop falling in fucking love with thinking that they're going to be the biggest uh, the biggest version of themselves by not, being in entertainment. I'm, I'm not, not saying you. Yeah. I'm just saying that you're, you're the, 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 the rebuttal that I'm having for you is because you're, you're speaking hypothetically on certain people on how they may or may not feel. Not even certain people. I'm saying me. Certain, when I was, your, yourself, okay, yeah. Same way how you said, yeah, but you got your father, but what about everybody else? Yeah, but that's you, bro. Everybody is not going to... Yeah, so for, what? We was just having so a conversation. It, so it's bad for me to I'm not saying it's bad. I never said... I never used the word bad. What I said is, is stop looking for entertainers to fucking lead you, bro. And I get it. Facts. But what I'm saying is... Straight I'm, up. I'm saying is you're right, though, but I don't think you're acknowledging the... It's like you're... It's like you're dis again. I keep saying the same thing. It's like you're dismissing the other side. You're right, but you we you got just, real. You like, said you said bro. two things can coexist. If, if you said two things can coexist, bro. you're not acting like it. All I'm saying is your actions from the conversation is not giving two things. Listen to me. Your actions, the way you're responding to it, is not giving the answer that you just said 20 minutes ago. Two things can coexist. So if, I, if you're saying that, I'm saying you're absolutely right. We do need to stop idolizing uh, fucking entertainers because they're they're not the ones to be idolized in the beginning. I know that. And I'm acknowledging that. I'm just saying I feel sorry 
sorry for the other kids who might not know that yet. And you're saying no, fuck. It's like I didn't say fuck. Hold on, I never said you fuck say, that. You ain't say, I didn't say. I never said but that. I'm saying that's the energy you. I never said hold on, no, because you got to be very. I'm very literal, bro. I right, never fair, said fair, fuck fair, that. But I'm saying the energy. You is know what? Like, with that being said, you know what you have to do. You know what your job should be. You know what your, your because you care about these said people who don't have. Then you need to be an example. Yeah, if, for if, sure. Well, hold on, yeah, yeah. you need to be an example. And what I'm saying is, is this, is, bro, is that niggas talking about all this. Di we got real. I, I, I see every time we come up here, we have. Our, our cool conversations, we got our music shit, but then we get serious about shit, right? And not in a negative connotation. Yeah, right, what cool. I'm saying is, bro, is we got real fucking problems going on in this fucking planet, bigger than a fucking ditty. We got way more shit that's going down in the in our fucking neighborhoods and all of that than a fucking ditty. We we'll sit here and talk about a nigga, uh, uh, talk about a nigga that 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 yeah, he's going through his trials and tribulations, but it's real. Them same people that you're talking about is going through real shit every day where they disenfranchised when it comes to jobs. We got this. AI shit, take it, bro. When I was a kid, niggas had jobs in the train station. Now ain't nobody in the train station no more. You don't even have to talk to nobody. You know how many jobs is lost from shit like that? It's real shit going on where we need to be teaching our people skills and giving them resources. And everybody so caught up on what the fuck is gonna happen to Diddy. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that that Diddy don't deserve some grace because I think everybody who des deserves some grace guilty to pro be proven innocent. Or, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, being you should be innocent Ooh. and to be proven guilty. Innocent. That's what, yeah. that's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. All I'm saying is, bro, is what frustrates me is we got real shit going on. And I'm tired of you. You're right. Of course, we don't want to see examples fall. But what I'm saying That's is, I'm saying. what That's I'm saying it. is, is this is not Martin Luther King getting fucking shot, nigga. This is not Malcolm X getting shot. You know what I'm saying? This is not our leaders being assassinated by a fucking white supremacy. No, it's not. That's this is, this it, is not it, the same it, it, thing. This is them doing it to themselves. This, this is what I'm saying. This is not the same it's thing. Not. So what I'm saying, the point that I'm trying to make is the degree of sensitivity or the degree of attention that we put towards all these other things, we don't put towards the things that, that matter. is important. You're right. That's the only, you know? But that's the only point I'm making. Well, I'm just saying we can't ignore that. You're, you're absolutely That's right. the only point no, I'm making, I, but bro. But I never disagreed with you. All I'm saying is you didn't, like, I'm giving, I feel like I'm, I'm understanding your point, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'm getting the same understanding or respect on my point. I get your point. You're absolutely right, bro. I, I don't, I don't deny that. All I'm saying is that's not the world, and that's the world that we live in. Most of our young black kids in, in, in the environments that we come from want to be what? Either rappers or ball players. That just is what it is. So when we say Diddy, yeah, we are grown men. Diddy ain't no fucking Martin Luther. We know that. Yeah. But we can't say that to the fucking 18, yeah. 16, 17 year old. Yeah, you I'm want, not, yo, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, though. You know what, bro? Yes, we can, cause you know we, you know, would be really, really good for us to do, like you said, like what kids want to be? They want to be a ball player or a rapper, right? You know, it'd be really great for us to do to get a, a, a um a chart, right? Get a chart and show the percentile of successful rappers and successful ball players versus the people who are trying every day, and not saying that you can't do it, right? It's small, but it's 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 negative. There's probably two million niggas playing ball every year, kids growing into men with hopes of going to the NBA. It's only 400 jobs to be on the court. And out of that 400, it's only maybe 25 real elites yeah. that really shake the game up and make shit go and sell the tickets and all of that. You feel me? So that's the, the, the point that I... And again, it's not that I'm... Excuse me. It's not that I'm dismissing your point, bro. I'm just saying is like, I get frustrated with these convos because I just look at it like, yeah, Diddy has what he's going on. I'm going to honestly say, I don't want to see nobody nobody go through no bad shit. But at the same time, whenever it's something that's alleged about you, you got to just go through the cycles and mm -hmm. whatever that entails. And now the internet is unforgiving. The internet is it's trial by trial by comments. You know what I mean? That, that's that's where it matters. You know what I'm saying? Seen the same shit with the Meg Thee Stallion, Tory shit. You know what I mean? We seen the same shit with... Every time it's a court case, we seeing it with the thug shit. Mm -hmm. This is down the third, right? Like, and, and the same thing, like like you said, though, is is a small, very small percentage of the elites in the, in, in the sports. In anything. Right? In anything. In, in anything. And, that's, and that's what I'm looking at because, again, I'm into entertainment. I'm not into politics, so I don't I don't talk about things that I'm not into. Like, you're right. We can... I would love to have politicians, like, but I'm not into that. So I'm talking about this because this is the space that I, that, that yeah. I hold, right? So when we talk about in, music industry... It's not. That's why I was saying Diddy is Diddy. Like uh, even Thug, right? So it's like you see these guys, and like these are the examples, even though they shouldn't be. But when we're talking about music, they are the examples. And then you see them fall off from their own demise. And I'm like, bro, like I want to see a nigga 
But I mean, if we being real, bro, that's been happening. Yeah. That, that, that's not just right now. But that's that's why been I, happening. But that's why I went back to the hood shit because like niggas been getting killed in the hood. But when you get older to a certain age and you start losing friends, and you're like, damn, like I'm losing hope for myself. Not saying we 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 built different. I'm built different. I moved out of it. But I would be lying if I didn't see if it was moments when niggas died. I probably wouldn't even cl- little school. I wasn't best friends with little scooter. But I I felt the impact in Baltimore. So when I hear he died on the phone, I'm hosting a party. I'm like, God damn. No, absolutely. That's all I, I'm saying. No, 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 absolutely. I'm just saying that, like, bro, <laughs> it's this joke that Dave Chappelle said. He said he spoke to them kids, and he said, man, he's like, y'all niggas better learn how to sing, dance, something, because the white man coming for you, right? But I'm just saying, bro, it's like, and today, remember I was telling you, I I, I had this conversation. I interviewed this this brother, Tunde Okoye, Okoye, Akoya. J- uh, Tunde uh, Akoya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tunde Akoya, right? Um, dude from Nigeria, grew up in the slums in Nigeria, had to drop out of school at 10 years old. So he said some of the worst things he experienced was watching his mother go to sleep at night hungry. Mm. And of course, like you said, everybody is built different, but found chess two years after that. And turned chess into a passion, into a business, and been taking chess and like teaching it to these young kids so they have new means, right? See, I just feel like amongst our people, bro, we so fixated on what the nigga who entertains us is going through. And granted, like, yeah, it's easy to that's easy to find, right? It's easy to find the next the next song or the next mogul or the next whomever, right? It's easy to find that and be influenced by that. And you know, and not, not negating the work that they put in to 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 have people be influenced by them, but I'm just saying, bro, it's like that's why I said the scope. I was I was by me saying the scope was small. I'm not trying to like like insult you. Yeah, he's in front of world. You know I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying it's like, and the point that you're making is, is yeah, I am like a grown I'm man. I'm 42 year old man. I've gone through a lot. Like I've lived enough lifetimes than a lot of people that I've seen come and go. I'm just saying, bro, in my time on this earth, bro, I've learned that, like, all the shit that we be so fixated on, we be looking like, oh, my God, look what's happening over there. That shit ain't even important as you yeah. think it is. You no, feel me? No, you're right. But that's why so I... So it's like, like, it's like... It, it's hard for me, only when I say it, because I'm big on... I want to make it and show niggas that, bro, you can do this shit and be solid. You've already made it. Yeah, no, facts. So, like, but that's... you. We had these conversations. That's, yeah. like, I'm self-betterment, self but Like, that's who I am as a person, bro. Yeah, as a man. So, like, when I see that, it's like, man, it kind of goes against... Not what I'm working towards, but it, it it just... I want people to know that, bro, like, it's niggas out here that's solid. So, but every just, time I yeah. see somebody that's great, that go, it's like, man... But don't let it... But that's the thing, right? That's why I'm saying, like, you can't get discouraged by that because, like, you got to look at it from a standpoint of, like, I hear what you're saying, and you're not wrong for feeling that. You know what I'm saying? But the the... I wouldn't necessarily say game I'm trying to give you, but like or a point I'm don't trying to make. Don't let it consume. I get what I'm, you're I'm, 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 Yeah, I'm basically like, saying like. Don't let it like, consume me. Like that ain't like, gonna have me stop working. I that, get it. I'm just saying what I'm yeah. saying is that ain't got nothing to do with the fuck who you is because Facts. you could look at like you could look at. The, I gave Pharrell as one example, but you could look at this person or that person or other person. Bro, think about Suge Knight. Like it's crazy for me seeing Suge Knight being in jail for killing a, another black man. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I was influenced by Suge Knight as a kid. When I was a kid, I looked at Death Row and was like, oh, that's cool. Mm. And you look at, he's a mogul, too. His name is in the books with Diddy, regardless of him falling off or whatever, right? But to see him saying shit about Diddy, and it's like, yo, bro, like, you in there, like, you might not be in there for the same shit, but you killed another black man, you know Mm. what I'm saying? So it's like, again... People pick and choose their battles or what's important to them. No, you're right. I just mm-hmm. need to see, like, man, I hope I hope this shit not true, but if it is, fuck them. I, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm do I'm a do bro, I have duality in in, I'm, in my humanness. It just is what it is. That might not make any sense, but that makes can, sense. Like, I, I'm not the type. Of humans nigga. are human. Humans are hypocrites, bro. We we contradict. Yeah, so it's like, I, like I, hypocrites. That's a fact. I don't give a fuck about these niggas, but at the same time, I. I I can acknowledge the impact that they have on the culture. Yeah, That's absolutely. really it. That's all I really had to say about the Diddy shit. I didn't. A lot of niggas be talking about this shit like ju- I don't really care that much about. But if he did that shit, then it is what it is, right? It is. What else been going on, bro? It's another thing. Kendrick Lamar, Drake, J Cole. Mm-hmm. Why are you laughing like that? That's kind of weird. 
<laughs> Bro, first of all, it's not even Kendrick Lamar, Drake, J. Cole. We got Future. Niggas is... I don't even know where we should start. It's the hip-hop civil war. Let me, let me ask you this. What? Because you work at uh, QC. Mm -hmm. What does it do for the industry? Like, does this... What does what do? Like, this civil war. To, like, do you got to choose a side? I don't got to choose. Not you, but yeah. like, I is, mean, it, is I, it conversations in the office? Like, I'm, it ain't no conversation. I mean, not for me. Like, I mean, honestly, bro, I, like, what I'm doing at QC, bro, like, I'm about to, like, baby money gearing up to drop his next project. That's what I'm focused on. All them other niggas are super duper rich. You know what I mean? Like, but I feel like the biggest misconception in, in, in hip hop or just men in general is that men don't talk. Mm -hmm. Like, niggas always talk about, oh, man. It, it, it's, that's female shit Niggas be talking Bro Niggas talk Every group of niggas You could think of Street niggas Niggas at the job Niggas at At, at the movies Niggas Anywhere bro Niggas is talking mm -hmm. About any and that They talking about other niggas Whether they like the niggas or not They fuck with the niggas or not They think the niggas is clowns Or goofies Or whatever the case may be I don't know the intricacies As to Why people got differences I just feel like A, a Kendrick and Drake thing has been brewing since 2012. Since 2013. Damn. It's been brewing. You, damn. It's like, okay, Kendrick, Drake has been a person that supported Kendrick in his in his uh career. Cause it was a point in time where, you know, I mean, Drake is still to me the biggest name in music, That's right? That's what I think too. But, like, there was a point in time where Drake was, you know, he at 2011, he was the man. Kendrick got a whole fucking song by himself on Take Care. You know what I'm saying? He had a whole interlude. Then that's 2011. Then you got Good Kid, Mad City, Poetic Justice. They do that record together. You know what I mean? Then, um, what's the last? Is it fucking Problems with ASAP Rocky? Kendrick and Drake is both on that. You know what I'm saying? They looked like it was some camaraderie back in those times. Then I feel like, when when the meek shit happened with Drake, I felt like like everybody was kind of like it, people was definitely rooting for meek. I, I could say that from being in you know in mute and behind the scenes, like it's mad people that thought like meek was the better rapper, mm -hmm. that he was gonna win that situation. Back to back comes out, whatever you know what I'm saying. Control like people control to me is not a diss. Like it's not a diss record. I felt like Kendrick had a clever way of poking at everybody. That he Even the niggas with. that was on a song. Yeah, everybody that he fuck with and just saying, like, y'all can't fuck with me in a cool way. I didn't think it was no malicious or nothing. But it's always been, when that big three shit started, when all these niggas started selling the most records and Drake's still at the top of selling records and having, like, the most notable hit records, Kendrick has his own space. I feel like Kendrick is my favorite out the three. I'm just keeping it a thousand. Like Kendrick is my favorite out the three. This is why this shit gonna be so good. This is Ken why this Kendrick show is my favorite out the three. But that don't mean that just because Kendrick is my favorite don't mean that I don't love Drake as an artist. Sure. Don't mean that I don't love Cole as an artist, right? Mm -hmm. But as that shit is going on, going on, going on, I feel like, and even with that being said, I don't like the way people take to Kendrick as to him being this big bad wolf figure. What you mean? I like. Do you remember the um? The Hillbillies record, the Baby Keem and Kendrick shit, smoking on top fives, mm -hmm. all that shit. Like when Kendrick came out with that verse, everybody was like, "Yeah, he warning niggas, niggas don't want it with him." That and I was like, "Really? Like I, I don't get that." As big as of a Kendrick fan as I am, I don't get that. You wonder why? Because for everything I could say, why I love Kendrick more than as an artist, more than, more than I love Drake and I love J Cole, Kendrick ain't battle tested. Mm. Kendrick ain't had a, a a battle in hip hop with nobody. He might have said little shit, clever shit. He might have threw subs because everybody take the Jay-Z approach and sub everybody. All these niggas be talking about each other. But he's never said a name or something very had definitive and had to go back and forth. Now, Drake has. Come on. I got it. No, listen. I'm, this is, but this, I got to give respect to the nigga because it started with stay scheming. Let's start, let's go back to 2011. Rich Forever tape with the Common shit. Him and Common. They both might be fucking with Serena Williams, all that type shit. And Drake, it bothers me when the guys get to acting like the bras. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, he went crazy on niggas. Common, not so much. Boom. Meet my brother, but I, I back he got back him. Was back to back was an anthem. Back to back was an anthem. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Look, then tons of other niggas that joke, like tons of other niggas that he done subbed, 
Tiger. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he now when he got the pusher. Don't am I say, but he still. Hold on. When he got the pusher, I never forget this. Pusher my dog. You know what I'm saying? We cool. Like we, I know Pusher for some years. I never forget because people people thought when I was on everyday struggle that like because I was like around because I was with Pusher the day before he like had the album listening. And he and I, I promise you, bro. My my relationship with Pusher, we cool, but we ain't cool to the level where the nigga let me know what he got, what he don't about to do or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I had dinner with the nigga the night before. Then when the shit comes out, you know when like Drake comes, Drake came back immediately with Duppy Freestyle, uh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, I I felt like the fucking the execution was perfect, like the invoice, you know what I mean? The Steven Victor, all that shit for the album promo, perfect. And I remember like talking to Pusher, I said. He's like, what you, he's like, what you, he's like, Push is very like mild mannered. Like the way he talks is like very, very calm. He's like, what do you think about it? I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, that shit is good. I was like, but I don't know what you're gonna say, but I will say that that shit is good. He's like, okay. And then he was like, all right. <laughs> and then he the, already knew it. The story <laughs> added on shit came out. Yeah. And then it's like, okay. I felt like that moment for Drake was kind of like uh, B Rabbit versus Papa Dot. Mm. In Eight Mile, it's like he got him to the point where he couldn't even say nothing back. I thought he just didn't want to say anything back because he he started to mention forty. I don't even I I don't even think. It was but, his I, son. but 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 it was I really forty. Yeah, but I, but but at the same time, it's like, bro. Unfortunately, forty gets caught up in like the casualty of that. But like that's what hip hop is, nigga, bro. Th- th- that battle is nothing compared to fucking Jada Kiss versus Beanie Siegel. Mm. Nothing in, in in comparison to what these niggas were saying to each other disrespectfully, like nothing, bro. Like this nigga style said, it's about to be three dead dogs in the reservoir. You know the whole song Reservoir Dogs was the song. The first time people heard Beanie Siegel was on the song with the Locks. He was talking about J Dame Dash and Beans. You know what I mean? This nigga like, but that's not. I don't. You think that's just as bad as talking about a nigga? Oh, bro, like, you want me to start breaking sickness? down the bar? You you want me to start breaking down the bars, bro? I mean, Styles I, die on a holiday, kids die on a holiday, shots like first of the year, um, get shot like the first of the month. No, um, no, Styles die, kids die like the first of the month. But shots that, like the first of the year. That's not talking about their like. They like, talked about personal shit towards each other. He said, he said, um, this cat living in the basement of his mother's house. But not, not I, about nobody ill. Nah, though. niggas. I mean, but bro, that's just hip hop. You look at yeah, look, no, no, it's hip hop. Drake I'm, is a battle fan, bro. He's been at URL, yeah. like so, like you Multiple know, times, bro. So. And battle is nothing is off limits, like nothing is, bro. Niggas did, bro. I don't all, even want to repeat that. I don't even want to repeat the camera online that that nigga said when he was dissing Nas. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, Drake. I think Drake is battle tested, and even in the one battle where we would say he lose. I feel like it was justified for him to battle out. I see. I can understand that. But at that. the That's same it. time, but he, and even still, he still doubled back and said shit. Like he still said shit. He ain't say push your name, but he still said shit to, to, to the situation. Yeah, you know what I mean. It wasn't like no real. He ain't dropped no real uh, direct diss, did he? What I don't nigga? Remember. I don't remember. You ain't hear the song on Travis Scott shit. Probably I don't remember. No, you didn't. It's all good, bro. You are. Yeah, it's all good. You didn't. But he said, nigga. He said he he said that the the the, the chains that I bought from your boss. We. we oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And he said he said the members ain't even wearing that Louis. He said since Virgil started, they they put that. Sh- like, you know what I'm saying? Like he definitely throws shit out there. But the thing about it is, I think that like Drake as a battler, he might not be the most vulgar person. But he, bro, ain't no way a nigga. If you had any differences with a nigga, and you know you had differences with him, and people don't know. And he say too much shit in records for a nigga to not hear a song and be like, this fucking nigga, man. Like, like I really believe that he he say shit when he be saying like privileged rappers, all types of songs he be saying, he be subbing niggas. Now he now my thing with Drake is, bro, I always felt like, and you know, I had to educate you on this song last time we talked. Takeover, right? But I always felt you like educate me. I, I just did say it no, was a mistake. It, 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 you, listen, That's not education. It was it's lots of education. It was a lot of education, but regardless, because I of that, misspoke. It, whatever you could call it that if you want, you know what I mean. But anyway, like I was saying, this I nigga always like I felt didn't know about Takeover. You didn't, but it, I, I just feel like Drake. Even though Takeover is what prompted Ether, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like Takeover was still a great diss record, and Drake. If I'm him, which I'm not, I'm attacking everybody. Fuck, it's not just gonna be Kendrick. It's gonna be Kendrick that get it. Future, Metro. All yeah, of these future, niggas. yeah, no, Rick Ross, I mean, all of these everybody, niggas. no, everybody. Listen, let me, let me go. Everybody, now. let me go. go I, I don't have the the knowledge and and, and all we know this, you don't like, have the knowledge. It's all good. Oh my God, this guy, 
all of that shit where you so musically inclined, but I'm telling you off of feelings, right? Feelings. So I can speak off of feelings. Feelings. First of all, go ahead. It go Drake, Cole, then Kendrick, nigga. And if the big that's three. fine for you to feel that way. Cool. One, two. I just feel like if it had to be a battle, I think Drake is smashing Kendrick. I feel like a lot of people think Kendrick going to smash smashing. Drake. Smashing, bro. Now look, listen, listen. There's one thing to say something about smashing. Is Kendrick is the most overrated nigga. Oh, out I, I there, don't like. Bro. I don't agree with that. because like you know you don't have a legitimacy. See, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. I'm gonna tell you why you feel like that. You, the reason why you feel like that is because of the demo of listener that you are. What that got to do with it? It has a lot to do with because it. Because I don't listen. Like, I can't it, it, get it, in it, my it, car and bump Kendrick Lamar. That's you know. All right, but that's you though. You're a basketball fan. Yeah. I'm not the biggest basketball fan, but you know... We know you're not really a fan of anything, to I be am. honest. I mean, I like football. And what do, you do you? Yes. Okay. So, wait. Why are you always trying to play me like that? I'm not, I'm not trying to play you. You be playing yourself. I'm just... Because <laughs> you said I'm, I'm just, not a fan of anything? I, you I, I, people like, what you mean I'm not a fan of anything? <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Listen. <laughs> listen. All right. I'm a... And because I'm not the biggest basketball fan, but I think this is a good analogy. I feel like Kendrick Lamar is to rap... What Kawhi is to the NBA. It was a it was a point where niggas was on Kawhi Leonard dick. Like they trying to make him make him seem like he was better than LeBron. He he's better than Jordan. Like niggas said that shit. Yeah. Niggas had the audacity to say that. I wouldn't that. call Kawhi Leonard. I, nah, I but wouldn't say it that. Was, but it was people who was doing that though. Am I, I right or wrong? Yeah, no, absolutely. So that's all I had tons of arguments about Kawhi Leonard. That's all I'm saying. But 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 at the same time, wait 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold he's on a second. good. He's very good. For no, sure. He, he's a Hall of Famer. First ballot Hall of Famer. I'm not. He taking... has two. He has two championships and he has a Finals but he's MVP. Not, he's not LeBron. Bro, he's nobody's LeBron. So, so, so what I'm saying is, nobody like, is Drake. So, what the fuck is we talking about? So, but, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait a second. We talking about rap, though. No, no, we're talking about is rap. Drake. We're talking about rap. Now, no, you said. Now, look, this is the thing. Me personally, me personally, I like I said, I favor Kendrick out of the three more because I just enjoyed his body's a work of music and the music that he made. That's why I said the reason why you feel the way you feel is because the style of listen, like the, the style of consumer you are, bro. You a nigga that like, for music, for you, prim I'm not going to say primarily, but you enjoy hit records first and I foremost. I don't, though. How? You tripping. How am I tripping? My favorite song is Birdman Jr. What are you talking about? That, that, wasn't that was even a hit record. Was it? Yeah. That was on the radio and shit? Birdman Jr., I might be thinking about the wrong song. No, it wasn't. I don't think so. It's from the Carter one, Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, know you're talking about. Like, that's my song. favorite song. Yeah, Another... but, 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 I, but no, but, but listen, with the, I'm, now I'm basing this off the conversations that we had. Yes, I... I'm basing this on the conversations we had. Me joking about Sexy Red? No, 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 but, but you enjoy... So you're not gonna... Bro, I enjoy hit records as well. But what I'm saying is, is I enjoy... You don't enjoy hit records? It depends. I don't really care for the radio records, to be honest. I'm not talking about radio. A radio... Just because... Bro... March Madness was not a radio hit and it's one of Future's biggest records. It ain't even yeah, fucking like chart. Yeah. March Madness didn't greatest. even make it the Hot 100. That was one of the greatest. I think Dirty Strike. Finito, yeah. Finito, Finito is Chief, might okay, be Chief cool, Keith's cool. biggest record. Keep, keep That's a hit. Point. Okay. What I'm saying is, is that, so you telling me that Drake as like 8 a, 8 a, 6 a.m. in Dallas, Drake, 8 a.m. in Charlotte, Drake. That's your that's your favorite version of Drake. Bro, what? Yes. Okay, so with that being said, what I'm saying is, is with that being said, knowing lyrical ability, you think that it's a wash. Like, you think, like, Kendrick... Because you said... No, no you no. said he destroys you're right, him. You're right. So, did he say I did. I did. I did. Smash. He said destroy, Smash. So, I did. Smash no, and destroy no, no, the listen, same listen, thing. Listen. Like, if you smash something, yes, yes. you completely destroy yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I just listen, wanted to make sure of that. But I say that because right. of the ability... To go globally on a nigga. So See, you talking about no, no, globally. No, 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 no. Fuck hold that up, global hold up. shit. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. Yeah. Wait, no. We can't ignore. This so, shit ain't about no, sales, no, bro. No, listen, listen, though. Go ahead. Wait, no. Back to back, right? Yeah. What I'm saying you married is to Drake can rap. Nobody, no, 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 nobody questions if the no, nigga can rap. Let me finish. All right, go ahead. He can rap, but he also can make good music. I don't... Listen, hear me out. I don't... First of all, bro, when it comes to Kendrick Lamar, I probably know or like five of his songs. Let me this tell you shit, something about up, Jay Hill, y'all. I want you to explain something about Jay Hill. Jay Hill is the most rhetorical nigga that you will ever meet in life. This nigga will be like, like you ever seen the movie Pootie Tang? And like the nigga that was like, yo, it's hot outside. Shit? And he'd be like, yo, it's hot out here too. Like, uh, he'd be like I just what said I, that. What am I repeating? Like, what listen, am I repeating? We know this. Uh, you're very rhetorical. What, what, I'm talking what, to the camera because I want everybody to know that this nigga is very what rhetorical. What am I repeating though? Look, 
I already said we already no, both agreed that asked, he's the the no, best top level Wayno, nigga. You're not you, listening. You got like I am listening you got to you. In your ear. Listen, you asked me. You're why not making do I think, a point, bro. bro. You asked. I didn't finish my point. You ain't let me finish. You made your point. What was the point? You said, "Yo, the nigga is phenomenal at rapping, and he makes great music." So what's the oh point? My. So what's the point, bro? The thing is, so is nobody so nobody discounts that. What's the point? What's the point? So what's you, that's the point that's that you tried to make. You ain't let me finish. Okay, tell me the what next I'm point. What I'm saying is, again... It's going to lead to the nigga making great music. So, yeah, I'm saying those two together. I'm saying Ken Kendrick Lamar, right? He's a good rapper, for sure. He can put a lot of he's words together. He's a great together. rapper. He's, okay, he's, he's a, great a great rapper. rapper. But even, let's go back to... You, you, you listen to Battle Rap? Yeah. My, my perfect example, from my, from, from my opinion, Loaded Lux... Right, I seen a I seen a breakdown of Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, Listen, yeah. I seen a breakdown of Kendrick Lamar lyrics, and I'm like, damn, that's phenomenal. That shit is amazing. But guess what? If the whole if the masses can't understand it, what the fuck you talking about? So hold up, hold up. <laughs> masses can't. So I know you seen a, it was it was it was a statement going around because it, it reminded me of this. Oh my Loaded God, Lux bro. is super good, right? But to be honest. After the calico shit, that shit got played out. I'm not trying to hear that shit no more. And if you making, and if you saying all of complaint. these metaphors, this and nigga all comparing Loaded Lux to Kendrick Lamar, bro, I'm and Loaded Lux, you know you my nigga. This nigga's comparing Loaded Lux to Kendrick Lamar in comparison to a Drake versus Kendrick Wayno, Lamar. I'm making a point of how the music is received, bro. So his music, is, so you tell. I'm right. saying it takes. It's like a fucking math problem when you're trying to put it. You bugging the fuck out. So what? So you bugging the so fuck out. So a part of being a good artist, right? Is saying some things that's simple enough for niggas to get it. You ever listen so, to the album Good Kid, Massity? I probably listen to it once. I nah, can't get jiggy with this shit. Nah. That, just, listen, if you, I would rather, you see how you trying to put all these disclaimers on shit? Just say, I don't fuck with that shit. I just, don't. I just, say, just say I no, don't. Just say that. No, but because I'm you probably, you, you saying, yo, Kendrick Lamar is a phenomenal guy, and I seen them break oh down and this God, and that and the third, bro. and I seen them do this. Bro, none of that shit matters. Just say you don't no. fuck with the nigga. Listen, Drake. I'm not. I would not take nothing from the nigga, bro. He's proven himself. That that's the whole thing I said from the very start. Drake has proven himself against numerous people. He's been on songs with niggas and had just if not just a better verse. If just as not as good of a verse as anybody he gets on a song with, from the rap shit to the singing shit, whatever. Fact of the matter is, as you said, this nigga is going to smash him. And I'm saying he's going to you, smash but, him. But the reason why you said he's going to smash him is because you said, yo. This nigga's like Calico. No, he's this nigga's like Loaded Lux. Yo, he be saying shit that you can't even understand. Yo, if niggas got if the masses, bro, you're not gonna tell me that Kendrick Lamar is not understood by the masses when he's a a, a big international artist, bro. All I'm saying is one. You're I speaking think, for one. I'm demographic, speaking for my. Which is you. I'm speaking for my opinion. I don't think I think Kendrick Lamar is overrated. One, I think J Cole and Drake is way better than him. Way better than him. And when I'm saying way better, way, is, way, wow. yes, way better. I gotta, bro. Wow. Honestly, I would rather listen to Big Sean before I listen to fucking Kendrick Lamar. What are you talking about? So again, what are you talking so about? So anyway, like what I'm saying is That's again, weird. what I'm saying is, bro, if you put them side by side. Drake has just as good as lyrics as Kendrick Lamar. Nobody, and then, hold up, but no. Rhetorical. And then, but no, on top of that, because he makes better music, the shit that I want to listen to, I'm going with Drake every time. Because I'm not going to even want to hear a fucking Kendrick Lamar fucking song, to be because honest. Because you don't like Kendrick Lamar. I don't. Yeah, but that has... But, but, but yeah, listen, listen, listen. He's not overrated. That's one. Man, you he's make not me, overrated. I'm about to go to some Baltimore City. Some shit. Fuck that nigga. Oh wow. <laughs> like that's how a nigga want to say. Like, but no. And I this is why. And that, but this is. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. And I this, I'm gonna well, hold on. No, no, no. You don't. Because the list, this is why people don't like to hear you talk about music. I'm just keeping it a hundred. Like, no. I'm. I'm, I'm bro, just. Because of your fans. No, and not my fuck? fans. I'm not talking about my fans, bro. Like, I'm not talking about my fans. I'm just. I'm speaking generally, bro. That's not generally though. Because right. I have a whole audience and, and, and demographic that I talk to artists every time. So you I'm can't, not talking about. You said Talk, this I'm not, why people don't hold like on, to... Hold on, hold on, I didn't say... But you talking to an artist and doing an interview... I'm talking about music. Is You talking to an artist and talking about music and their life and whatever they got going on is a totally different conversation than talking to people who are... I like to say, let, let's say well-versed in music or know things in music. Okay. You admittedly, hold on, hold on. You admittedly say on camera, yeah, I don't really know like that. And yeah. that, Okay, so again, this is the reason. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving you what you say. This I never the, said people didn't want to hear me talk about music, though. I I'm, never said that. I, I didn't say you said that. I'm telling you. You can't tell me that, though, Okay, I, I can't tell you nothing. No, you can't. I, I can't tell you bro, nothing. first of all, with all the, like... You don't is, have no good music opinions. I'm just keeping bro, it a thousand. Bro, that's to you. I'm pretty sure other people... 
I'm you don't. pretty sure it's other you people. You said that Kendrick Lamar is overrated. Bro, yes. Where's he overrated at? Tell me who's overrated. So you're telling me, so telling me, so you're, you're telling me I'm the only person in the world who thinks Kendrick Lamar is no, overrated. No, because people think so Drake is overrated. Because people think Drake is overrated. So wait, I'm asking you specifically what makes I'm him telling overrated. You he's overrated to me because no, a lot of No, to you, what makes him overrated? Bro, but it's my opinion. What are you talking I'm about? I'm asking you. All right, so, so we can't have, wait, wait, wait. So we can't have a contextual conversation. I'm saying what makes him overrated. I'm about to tell you. You just keep saying, yo, he just overrated to me because I don't like him. What tell me Wait, what no, makes him to overrated you. to you? I'm about to tell you. Okay. He's overrated because a lot of people think he's number a one. Lot I, of I just I just said I just compared him to, to Ka Kawhi Leonard. He said, said his opinion thing. and said a lot of people. Bro, go ahead. What the f Wait, listen, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Cause you not you bro, you said a, you said this is my opinion and you said a lot of people. Bro, go because ahead. this is my opinion. I see a lot of people with him and I think they put him. What do you on think? I'm telling you, this is what I think. Wait, no, what are you talking about? Like you kinda you pissing me off, bro. Like, listen, listen, for real. All jokes aside, bro. I'm telling you. I think he's overrated because of what people think of him. That's why I say he's overrated. Because so many people think he's rated higher than he's supposed to be. I don't, I don't think that he's that good of a musician when it comes to making music. He makes he his his lyrical content is really good. I think he's really he's really good at uh wordplay. But it's so is a lot of other people out this motherfucker. Everybody try to put him at the top of the, like, at the top of the rap game and I don't think he deserved that. Just like when I said Kawhi Leonard. Everybody, it was not everybody, it was a lot of people who were saying Kawhi Leonard is better than LeBron and that shit was bullshit. I'm saying that a lot of people that I see talking about Kawhi, um, talking about Kendrick Lamar supposed to be at the top and I don't think so. I think the top is the top and I feel like it's Drake, in my opinion, Drake, J. Cole, and we talking about the big three and then it's Kendrick Lamar by a long shot. That's my opinion. How the fuck is he... <laughs> How can a nigga? How can a nigga that's overrated be top three? I just it, it, that see this is what I'm saying, bro. By your own metrics, that makes no sense. I didn't make the top three. I didn't no, make no, that no. Big you, three, said, you just said no. I, I said right. big three. I mean, if I if I said top you, three, you no no. Listen, it don't matter if you call it big three, top three, whatever. Because that's what they if call you, it. I don't give a fuck what they call anything. If you if I said what's the top what's the top five rappers right now, and you said yo, I ain't gonna lie, it's Drake, it's Cole. Yeah, I, I, and I put Kendrick in I there too. I wouldn't do that though. You just said that. No, bro. I'm not, but but listen, let me just give you let something. Let me talk to the camera. Real let, quick. let me let me let me just say something to you real quick, bro. Right. Because I'm gonna tell you why you're not making sense. Because all you're talking about is what other people say. No, I'm I, not. I, I don't right, even. Bro, I'm done. I, I can't Wayno. even have this conversation Wayno. anymore, Wayno. bro. You know how I'm what not. What time Wayno? is it? I can't do Wayno. this, bro. You know how I'm not. Because I'm wasting. Like you, this is you, this you, is crazy. You know how I'm not. Because this is crazy. First, you just said it, right? This is crazy. I don't. I don't even like like. You're this saying crazy. as if I'm like regurgitating what niggas are saying. I don't even listen. I don't even look at the blog to know so what niggas are saying. So that's why I said. So you said you s listen, bro. Listen to what you just said. I you said, said I would put. You said Drake, go ahead. Tell me what I'm saying. You said you said I would say Drake, Cole, and then I would say Kendrick Lamar. Wait, no. That's why I said that's talking said, to you is like bro. fucking having a thorn in my ass. Hold up. Listen. Let me talk to the camera. It's a big three. Is it or is it not a big three? No, the, the big so, three is predicated on what you feel, bro. Oh my fucking god! Is what you feel. So the big three. You I'm just talking about all this about your hold opinion. Up, hold up, hold up. Is there, I'm asking, is it or is it not a presumed big three? Even when he talked about in the rap, he said, what you talk about big three? It's just that, that's what they're saying. But I'm, I'm not, saying, I'm asking you, that's why I said I asked you for your and opinion. And I'm telling bro. you my opinion from the big three if, that's if, in the, that's the, that the industry acknowledges the big fuck three. Fuck the industry. I'll ask you about what bro, your opinion is, bro. Is, do y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, am I is it am I that retarded? I literally said I'm saying the, you're that retarded. Bro, I just want you to know three, you're that retarded. The big three that they're talking about on the on the music, right? That Kendrick Lamar acknowledged on the music. That 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 J Cole acknowledged on first person shooter. The big three, quote unquote, that they're talking about. If we're talking about the big three, which is J Cole, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar, I'm going with Drake, J Cole, then Kendrick Lamar. Who's your I favorite top five rappers? Right that's now. different. I what's, never, your, what's your favorite my top favorite five? Top rappers five right is probably not Lil, all time, just right now. Lil Wayne, Jay Z, I'm definitely going Kanye West. Drake is definitely got to be in there. Drake, Drake is fourth. I, no, this. I'm at, no, 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 bro. No, I'm, 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 no, nah, I'm gonna no, keep it 100, bro. I'm no, about to roll, bro. No, there's no I, order. I, I, I'm you just said, top you said five, Drake. No order. You said, you said, who you said? You said, I said Lil Wayne, Wayne Jay Z, Kanye, Kanye West. Drake, Drake is in there. Yeah, top five. There's no order, bro. Okay, and who else? Um, sheesh, that's a good one. It's really not. What? It's really easy, bro. That's why. That, that's it's what, my top five. That's what I'm saying. The, the the people. What I'm saying is the reason why I'm, I, the reason why I keep challenging you on what you're saying is because for you to say, yo, da 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 da. da I'm, I'm let me not say I'm expecting you to say, but if the way you're talking about Kendrick, I'm trying to hear you say 
Why do we even consider the nigga top three? He shouldn't even be in a conversation of top three with these two niggas because he's so trash. And I would listen to Big Sean before I listen to him. Because that's what you just said. That's all I'm saying, bro. I'm just acknowledging that. that but but, that, but but that's what I'm saying. Fuck the acknowledgement. Because we, we're having individual conversations about who's the best in this battle. Now, let's... Man, we're we talking about this battle because the three people. That's yeah, it. but you're saying that the nigga is so trash that Big Sean is better than him and you would <laughs> listen to him more. So that's what I'm thinking you're going to say. Then you say Kendrick Lamar, so I'm confused. Like, why the fuck would you even say Kendrick Lamar? I'm that, saying that, Kendrick, I, I'm not putting him in my top five. All right, so what I'm saying is, he's not this, even bro, in my top ten. All right, he, he's not even in your top ten. No. Okay, fine, right? Because he's so overrated. So every reason why you said why you felt like he was overrated, it was based on what you said somebody uh, else yes, felt. That's why I say but, he's but, overrated. But, yeah, yes. but, yeah, but because but, the people have the ratings. Yes, uh, that's why mm. I say he's overrated. All right, I'm just all right. This is how That's I like feel. That's like I said, nigga underrated. I'm saying a nigga is underrated because I think he's so good okay. and, the, and, okay. the, and the world okay. don't see it. Okay. I'm okay. 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 All right. Okay. All I'm saying is this. When it comes to this Drake, Cole, Kendrick shit, when it comes to this Drake, and, and honestly, I'm going to keep it 100. Future is not going to bar you up, but I put Future in the conversation as the top niggas now, too. I'm not mad at because that. Because Future... And, and, and the reason why I'm not going to say he's... The uh, uh, reason why I went and say that Kendrick is overrated is because not only is... You know, I think that people try to reduce him when you don't listen to his music to just bars, 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 and not what a nigga be talking about, right? Like, not having a, a not having music that has commanded every time. Now, don't get me wrong, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, which was his last album, was not my favorite album from him. I didn't really enjoy that album out of his discography. I put it at the, at, at the bottom when it comes to his albums. But if you're talking about... Good Kid, Mad City. If you're talking about To Pimp a Butterfly, if you're talking about Damn, just those three albums, bro, alone impacted. This is why I can't call a nigga under, I mean, overrated, is because there's one thing to say about personal opinion. And then when we're talking about masses, bro, the nigga sold millions of fucking records. Mm -hmm. Millions of fucking records. I don't think that um, the, 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 the legitimacy of people's gripes of him being the best is unwarranted. I think that that's very warranted from the standpoint of him making good music. Because music is subjective, which I always tell you. Because yeah. you don't like it, but I do. But at the same time, when you say the masses, like you said, oh, no, I like, think but, music is subjective. Wait a second, but like you said, oh, but the masses don't get it, bro. Have you seen a Kendrick Lamar show? Like, like, like I'm talking about a sea of people. A sea of people singing shit word for word, not just niggas that rolling around jumping up to everything that has hard 808 drums. You feel me? So I just think that when it comes to him versus Drake, I do not think Drake is a pushover by any means. Drake is not a pushover by any means. I think that it would be great to see them go back and forth because there's so many different things that they're going to pick at each other because they've known each other for so long. Mm -hmm. Then, honestly, fuck just Drake and, and Kendrick. We, I, J. Cole has to say something. Yes. J. Cole, if I'm J. Cole, hey, y'all, I'll be, I don't know when this is dropping, but I'll be at hosting Dreamville next week. I'm going to be out there hosting Dreamville for Amazon Music. You can catch me there. She's going to be on Amazon Prime if you got Prime. But, um. It's Friday? What is it right now? It's Early? Thursday. Are we going to drop this ASAP? All right, so look. Um, when you been there? I'll be there next Saturday and Sunday What's hosting. The um, the 6th and 7th. All right, bet, bet. Um, if I'm J. Cole, I'm attacking, I'm attacking Kendrick. For sure. I'm, a, I'm definitely attacking Kendrick. Yo, you. As much as I can get up here and talk good about Drake, I love Drake, right? But I'm not trying to hear that bigger person shit today, right now. Nah, well, I don't want to hear that. First of all, you late. You late. Because all that shit you did with Meek, you late, nigga. When you got a nigga who can, who can rap. No, not saying Meek ain't... Like, you got a nigga like but Kendrick Lamar. But I don't think he's late. But go ahead, go ahead. You got go a nigga ahead, like Kendrick Lamar who, again, I think he's overrated, but... The reality is the niggas fuck with him, right? You got a nigga who niggas think is number one. You got that nigga. This ain't Pusha T. I'm not saying, like, Pusha T could rap too. But arguably, Pusha T or Meek Mill ain't Kendrick Lamar. And you say he's battle tested? Nah, you ain't battle tested until a big dog step to you and you step back. Because at the, at, at the end of the day... He's battle tested, bro. He's battle tested. Yeah, I, but then uh, also with Jamaican, I don't want to because I don't, keep your point because I want you to. I, I don't want to forget. This. I just want to make this real quick. Um, you got to keep in mind, bro. Back to back was ten years ago. Damn. <laughs> so, 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 so at the same time, like that urgency that Drake Shit. had to make back to back where he was with Meek. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like Drake has been a front runner. At you know, he's been a front runner f since two thousand fucking nine. Damn near. I mean, even like. 
after Wayne kind of passed him the torch. Like, he's been a front runner, yes. right? But Meek was a big dog, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we yeah, we, we didn't look at Meek as he was. You're we right. didn't look at Meek like that was going to happen. So Drake is definitely battle-tested. I just think that I, the reason why I don't think he's late is because you can't allow people to pressure you into taking the wrong shot. Because Jay Z did that when he did Super Ugly. We came after Ether. You know what I mean? He he did that with Super Ugly, and the shit just went horribly wrong. Now I feel like a nigga like Drake. One thing about that nigga, he's mad calculated. I get it. Well, you know, and you got a point, right? But it's hard to to give him that grace when we were like. When you said it, niggas in the room like, damn, because we didn't know it was 10 years ago. 10 years ago. So, but you got to understand, when we nigga, talk bro. about, when we thinking about Drake and battle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even think about pushing. We talk, we think about back to back. Yeah. And even on there, how he was saying, he was saying, bro, like, what's taking you so long? So that's what we remember Drake as. So I don't care if it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That's what we remember you, you for. You accept him how you met him. So it's like. But at the same time, bro, I, and, and for the people that's going to try to. Correct me, yes, back to back was in 2015, it was in 2014. I'm just saying the year is almost fucking over if you ask me. <laughs> this you nigga Wayne no be on <laughs> like, it. But, but no, nah, but for real, but I think that like, I just think that bro, because you asked, all right, let's just go back to the question you originally asked. What does this do for like the industry, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that like everybody has a side to pick in the sense of what they think is going to happen. It's mm -hmm. like the fucking finals at any sport, right? It's like... Who's gonna come out on top? Pause. Like who? Who's gonna be the one that's the last person standing and all of this, right? And that's why I said like as big as a Kendrick fan I am, and I ain't gonna front my nigga. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna still defend a nigga as far as him being a great rap artist because he's one of the greatest rap artists of our time, one of the best um artists of our time. He's good. I still, <laughs> I still think that like Drake ain't nothing to fucking play with. Like I, I still, I still believe that he's nothing to play with. But at the same time, to I think. The beauty of this is we don't know what the fuck this nigga's gonna do. Like today, I seen the shit go up with Chubbs. Is like, you seen the shit Chubbs was like, uh. I told you I'll be watching. You think I'll be looking at, I don't look at But this shit. is why, I, again, why I told but his brother. But this why I can't. Uh, but listen, listen, listen what, what I'm wait, saying, wait, wait. listen, I'm just telling you this. And this is for a person that's in music, that does music commentary, letting you know that if you're gonna be talking about music, bro, you gotta be in the know of what's going on because when certain shit comes up, if you're not up to speed, people going to pick apart. Whether you think you good or not, people going to fucking pick you apart for it. Now, it doesn't matter. It's all content, like people say. But at the same time, bro, you should hold some space and integrity of saying, yo, I'm going to know what the fuck is going on. So back not to what fair. I was saying. I, I was just so, defending the part of the rebuttal. Like, I'm not rebuttal on nobody's shit because I'm not watching these niggas. So, That's Chubbs, really so Chubbs, you know, Drake, man, he said, Aiden Ross, there's a clip of Aiden Ross saying some shit about... um. Yeah, I heard that Kendrick got some crazy shit waiting for him, and that he just waiting for Drake to say the I wrong seen thing. That. I seen that. And Chubbs posted on his story and said, "Tell that little boy to drop." He he know like he said something like that. Like tell that little boy to drop. Like he know not to play or something like that, right? So now that's what I'm saying. It's getting spicy because now you got niggas talking. Like ultimately, I don't think nobody gonna get hurt out of nothing like this. It's all rap, you know what I mean? In a competitive sport, in a competitive sense of it, but this shit is about to be fun. I, we ain't had yo, bro. You gotta think. We ain't had nothing to be this excited about since the Pusha T Drake shit. You right. The only thing is, and again, you might not like this, but I'm not really fucking with everybody turning on Drake right now. This shit is whack. I, in my mind, mm -hmm. and this is one thing I did see somewhere, so I'll put that out there. I'm not no, I'm not stealing niggas' fucking ideas, but I, it gotta be something. When I seen him, like that makes sense. Drake right. had to do something crazy because. The f all these niggas hopping on a bandwagon, it just don't make sense. But I don't, but see, I don't, uh, see, this is the thing, right? Let's not look at it from a bandwagon standpoint and look at it from a standpoint of all these niggas know each other. Yeah. And again, all these niggas talk, bro. Women is not the only people who no talk. Facts. Niggas talk more than women is not days. the only people that's chatty pat. Niggas is chatty patties, bro. Niggas talk all the time. Niggas talk about, every time somebody get an interview, yo, what's going on? Yo, I don't, I don't listen to niggas. I don't talk to niggas, bro. I like, you be in niggas' studio sessions, they watch niggas' videos, they talk about niggas, all types of shit. I'm just generally speaking. Yeah. That's what goes on, and it's always going on. You Thanks. feel me? Now, I feel like, yes, there might have been something done where somebody, and everybody's looking at it crazy because, like, Future's last big record was Wait For You. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It was, I think that was his first number, official number one record, and it came from Drake. So now you got people, the, you got the people calling Future ungrateful. You got people calling Kendrick ungrateful, like the Drake fans calling them ungrateful, right? You got the Future people, the Future fans, and um, like Metro Boomin, they just dropped their album. All right, if, if 
Future didn't say nothing to allude directly to something towards Drake. He still let a nigga diss him on his song. Yeah. So he's basically co-signing yeah. it. Then you got the unfollows and this, this, that, and the third. But you got to also remember um, Nav. Like, Nav is managed by XO, mm -hmm. which is the company that we can sign to. And Metro he, Boomin is also managed by XO. You know what I'm saying? They Nav both just unfollowed a nigga too, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why that... Because me, I don't look at... Uh, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Ross unfollow just unfollowed a nigga? I, I, I've unfollowed tons of people that I love just because I didn't want to see the shit they All was talking about. All I'm saying is, man, but, this shit is corny because... It's just... Bro, it, you know why it's not corny? Because the storyline, man. I'm this shit is lit. Fuck I'm, saying, it. I'm saying it's corny. This shit lit, right? I'm saying... Yo, G, this shit lit. I'm saying it's corny what? because <laughs> Drake really birthed a lot of these niggas. I don't... He didn't birth Kendrick Lamar. He didn't. He didn't birth Kendrick Lamar. He didn't. He didn't birth J. Cole. He didn't I, no, he, didn't birth, no, he didn't birth Metro Boomin. He didn't birth Rick Ross. He didn't birth Future. Now, don't get me wrong. He he didn't birth. I don't know. He did not birth Future, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I know I'm in Atlanta. Tony Montana like, was a big Hold Tony no, Montana, no, no, no. but he didn't birth. Listen, listen, I know I'm in Atlanta, niggas ain't gonna like this, but it is what it is. Bro, he might ain't birth he these niggas, but he bro, he listen, Drake gave us Kodak Black, 21 Savage. Uh, gave you, gave twenty one savage. Man, listen what I'm telling bro, you, bro. You bugging out. Listen what I'm telling you. Listen huh? what I'm telling you. Me goes. Listen what I'm telling you, bro. I get. Listen, listen. I feel like this is why I love my position in this. Cause you might not like it, and that's okay. I feel like I speak for the consumer, bro. Like I feel like. No, nah, not really. Because there's a lot of niggas that fuck with twenty one savage. I'm not really the biggest twenty one savage fan, but <laughs> I can't ignore. Listen, when twenty one savage is on a song with Drake, I like it. Rick Ross. When Rick Ross is on a song with bro, Drake, I like it. I'm bro. not the biggest Rick Ross fan. Yo, but this is, you, you're just, listen, you're just a Drake fan, bro. And that's okay. Yes. You're a super fan. Look, listen, bro, listen. All right, but, look. yo, you, so you're telling me that, you're telling listen, me that Ross listen, is, listen. so you said Ross is Ross without Drake. Oh, my God. Are you crazy? What's Ross' biggest song? What's Ross' biggest song? MC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> BMF. Stay scheming not his biggest song. Stay scheming. Stay, stay scheming is not Rick Ross's biggest song. Okay. Hold, hold on. Right, listen, right. What I'm not, not, not going to negate. I'm not going to argue that. What I'm not going to dismiss. I'm not going to argue what that. What I'm not going to dismiss um, from what you're saying is that Drake didn't lend who he was to niggas. I'm not saying that. To a lot but of these hold niggas. Hold on. Hold on. He did not give us 21 Savage. Yeah. Bro. yeah wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, I mean, wait, no, wait, wait. No, hold on. Let me listen. He ain't give niggas 21 Savage. He didn't give niggas Kodak Black. These was niggas. Hold on. Future, Streets Calling Mixtapes. These niggas was doing shit. See, listen, bro, I'm a New York nigga, but I was on Dat Piff Heavy. Okay. I was on Spin Rilla Heavy. I was on Live Mixtapes Heavy. Hold on, bro. This nigga was doing shit with Nick. He, Free Bricks. He helped Wait blow a, second. Up a lot of niggas, Free, I'm not, I would never dismiss the fact that Drake has done records and has lended when he's at his highest to niggas that was, was on their come up. That's I'm not I'm saying, saying. No, 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 no. That's not what you said. You said he gave us. Okay. So, that's two different things, bro. Oh, my God. All right. No, so, no that, I'm not mad two, at that. You can't. So, for the niggas that want to be literal. my God, No, I'm saying for the niggas that want to be literal, cool. But I'm saying, if it wasn't for Drake, a lot of these niggas, bro, he gave niggas a fucking. Bro, a you, said, letter you, to, said, you said Rick Ross is Rick Ross bro, without Drake. Yes, listen, Ross is Ross. That's crazy. No, 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 Ross. that was crazy. Ross is Ross. But that what I'm was saying crazy. is, if you, if you, bro, if you do the verses, right? I feel like a lot of the verses that, a lot of the songs that's hits, bro, Drake is, bro, listen, first of all, because I don't want niggas to think I'm just on this nigga dick pause, because this, Drake is one of the corniest niggas ever. But when I, but listen, but when I, I don't I'm, know, bro, friend of foe, man, state no, your listen, biz. No. I don't know, nigga, I don't know if you want to clap or that, but nigga, bro, I listen, don't know, no, bro. But I'm saying, real, what I'm like, saying is, what I'm saying is, because I'm telling you my opinion. So, and I'm I'm not, I'm not one of them, like you got fans, right? Like a sports, right? Some fans are delusional. Me, I just said, I, 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 I stand in my duality as being a human. I just said that, right? Mm -hmm. So in my duality, I can acknowledge Drake is corny, but I can acknowledge how big of an artist he was and what he did for niggas' careers. I seen, bro. Let's Drake gave us party next door. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 you're right. Listen, you're right. Listen, don't, I get what you're saying. Listen, you're right. listen, bro. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm right. just saying this. Look, Drake, I'm not taking nothing from this nigga, bro. He's one of, listen, listen. Drake is one of the greatest niggas to ever do this shit. Not discounting that. I'm just saying, bro, You, you, you when I started bringing people's names up, you specifically said 
like he made these niggas. Bro, he ain't make no Metro Boomin, bro. Metro Boomin, let, hold on. Let me let me quick story. You know, story time. I always got story for niggas real quick. Story time. Me and Metro Boomin got cool off of Twitter. This is back in 2010. I was talking to Metro Boomin when he still was in high school, when he was just going by Metro Beats, when he was doing shit for Alley Boy and and um DTE, duct tape. You know what I'm saying? When, when he was doing shit like that. I was talking to fucking Metro Boomin when that nigga, me and Metro Boomin have a relationship for over 10 years and I only met this nigga in person one time. Metro Boomin, when he moved to fucking Atlanta, bro, I was talking to that nigga. He like, yo, I just graduated high school. I'm about to move to Atlanta. Nigga, when he got with Future and them niggas did Karate Chop, come on, bro. Now, bro. listen, Drake did get on. I'm not discounting that Drake got on Tony Montana, but but Future could perform for an hour and not have to play a song bro, with him since and we're Drake. Being literal, okay, bro. He it's not give, about being listen, literal. It's about being factual. Why, why why I gotta be why I gotta be fucking shunned upon because I'm being factual, bro? I'm not bro. shunning. I'm you just saying, are because I'm just being factual, bro. bro. This is facts. I'm saying okay, bro. I said I could have misspoke, bro. It's okay. Stop misspeaking, though. Cool. You gotta get on camera, and be on your shit, bro. bro you gotta stop misspeaking, bro. He didn't give us, but he helped again. So I'm looking at. Rick Ross, his biggest song is actually hustling, right? His biggest song on what? His biggest song. I'm just looking at his top songs. On what? On Apple, Apple Music. On Apple Music. That's one metric, bro. That's not the, That's not everything, bro. You, hustling came out. No, listen, because I got to tell you this, bro, because hustling came out before streaming existed. Okay. That's that's a metric by streaming, bro, which is fine. I'm just saying that you go into, you go into an app. To find out on one app what the nigga's biggest songs is, and that's just one metric. Right. That's what I'm saying. If you're gonna use facts, bro, you can't just you, you can't so come with just that, I'm, bro. I'm, this is a fact because this is data, right? So I'm saying my, my opinion. I gave you my opinion, yeah. And now I'm going to data. This okay. is data, right? So data could be used as facts. So streaming. If you go to his, his biggest song on Apple Music on right now on streaming, on streaming. is hustling. Mm -hmm. Right after that is a song featuring Drake. Right after that is a song featuring Drake. Mm -hmm. Right after that is another song featuring Drake. Mm -hmm. So when I'm telling you, like, bro, I'm not just pulling this shit out my ass. So, okay. So I'm go not ahead, so again. I say cool. my all bad. Right, I right. apologize for saying he gave us because I can see how that can look. All I'm saying is he helped niggas' career go here. And if you're looking at his top okay. songs, go, go, three go, of go his back five, there real quick. I want you to go back there real quick because I want to see it. Look, pass me your phone, please, 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 please. Okay, look. Three of his five, well, hold on, hold on, real quick. Got Drake on. Look, 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 right? Hustling, right? That's 2005, right? Aston Martin Music is 2009. State Scheme is 2011. Dice Pineapples is 2012, 2013. BMF is 09. Um, the boss is 07. I'm the one is that's with with Drake and these don't have the these these don't have dates on them. This is me knowing these dates, right? You don't even know it. Everyday hustle. Now don't get me wrong, like fuck with me, you know I got it. Jay Z, uh, Bugatti, um, Money in the Grave, right? Push it. So when you're saying right, when you are saying yo, he gave him his his like. He, he made him. I'm I just, took that away. I know that, but I'm just trying to give you his context as to when you start having hip hop discussions. And I'm just telling you this because I was just telling you, bro, when I say this is why people don't be fucking with you say hip hop, whether you choose to think it's people that's just my fans or mm -hmm. not, the reason why people have shit to say to you is because when you come with facts, bro, Rick uh, Drake did do shit for Rick Ross. I'm not discounting that as far as doing songs with him, mm -hmm. right? But... Rick Ross was already solidified as an artist before he bro, had a Drake I already, feature. Bro, I already said that. Though. But you, but, but I also said that, future, because you brought so up again, future so, as well. Wait, I didn't go. I, I didn't get there. I said, yo, I took away from he gave us. He didn't give us. I didn't. I, I took. I took that away from that, bro. And we're having a conversation, and you say, bro, my bad. I'm gonna let you. I'm not. You're right. Keep, you're right. I'm harboring. Right, so that's I'm, what I'm harboring. Saying. So, I'm harboring. So, so, I'm so, just fucking with you so, because. Okay. You know, so what I'm saying is, bro. All of these niggas that's turning on Drake. Drake really gave a hand to these niggas. So even when I, when I. Again, I'm biased in my future opinion. I, I acknowledge who future is. One, let me say this. Let me, because again, I I live in my duality. Ooh, I'm, Dirty be, Sprite be, two, be very be very careful when you Dirty talk Sprite about future. Two, Dirty Sprite two, probably one of the best albums ever. It is in my opinion. It's, it's not, what it that's is. Just so a I don't fact. even want to. So I don't even want to get up here like I'm hating. All I'm saying is, but we can't ignore the impact that Drake had on future career because I remember a time when Drake and Future was like this, and they were dropping songs in it, and a lot of. A lot of Drake made me like Future. I'm just being real. I know Future had a, a big fan base of his own, but I'm saying for me, a lot of that Drake shit with the, the, the project they did together, like all that, I'm like, damn, it made me fuck with Future. Bro, if you look at Kodak the past Black, 10 he years. Posted, uh, what was the song he posted? Not No Flocking, the one before that. Uh, I forgot the song he posted. He he kind of introduced a, a lot of niggas to Kodak Black. He introduced, he, but see, that, but, but bro, just because that's when you found out, don't mean that that's when that's when niggas knew or niggas was putting at work. And this is what I, this that's the only point I'm trying to make to you, bro. When you talk about future, bro, future come from Dungeon Family. He was in the same place in the same studios with Killer Mike 
and Andre 3000 when his nick his nickname was Meathead. You know what I'm saying? That was his rap name. And they were saying that he was like, he used to be more rapping, rapping. Then when he got with Rocco, and I'm just trying to give you a history no, I, lesson, I, I, bro. No, I, I, like, I, for real. Then you got to think about, like, Future did a lot of heavy lifting for himself. Now, I'm not going, I'm, nobody can negate an album like What a Time to Be Alive. I feel I feel like What a Time to Be Alive is, like, one of the greatest moments in hip-hop culture. Did that help if take you, him to another level? I'm not, hold on, I'm not discounting that. Because that's all my that. point. I'm, I'm not that's, taking that's not a from point future. to make because I'm not even discounting that. I never discounted but that. The, before you I made said, this, but, but. I, I said, wait a second, before we, the nigga ain't do what a time to be alive with future because he was some nigga fucking doing shows for 200 niggas right, in a room. Bueno. Wait a second, bueno. he wasn't no, a nigga right. that but had, guess what? he wrote, he was writing, he was writing records right. for Beyonce, but, Rihanna, but bueno. all of that, Let bro. me ask you this though, you right, right though, but guess what? He did this. This has been Drake though. So I'm not saying I'm not taking. I'm not taking Say away Black from. Say Blockboy JB. <laughs> no, for real. I'm, and I'm and Blockboy JB is a cool nigga. Now I'm just being for real, bro. Migos. No, I'm not gonna say that about so, Migos. Migos. Now look, Migos. Listen, Migos. Hold on, hold on. Yes, Versace got taken to another level, and them niggas was in a whole another stratosphere. But I'm not gonna negate what that Versace was a working record before Drake got on it. I'm not gonna get negate Bando. I'm not gonna negate fucking um Bando Hannah Montana. Yes. I'm not gonna negate all of these records, all the fucking Emmett Smith, all the records that was on these fucking tapes before Drake was like, all right, let me fuck with these niggas. We can't take. Th I'm not saying that Drake don't play a part in helping niggas' careers because I feel like. Every big artist, even like a future, he's done it for a lot of other artists. All these niggas that when it gets to a, that's the whole point of this shit is to pull your brother up, right? Now, when you're talking about yo, they turning on him and this, that, and the third, end of the day is future and Drake have had more conversations and have been around each other more times and probably had more differences than me and you could probably possibly even talk about. So when a nigga's having differences with a nigga, right? I'm just saying, I'm not going to call it corny. We're going to watch this shit play out because, one, it's entertaining. And then, two, this is what the fuck we need right now. It's been too much friendly shit in this rap shit, nigga. I'm tired of all these. I'm not saying that I don't want to see peace. I don't want to see nobody get killed. But it's too much friendly shit. Everybody is just giving niggas compliments and pats on the back of how good they is. Niggas don't even do... Bro, when I was growing up, back in my time, I could be the old nigga. I'm the oldest nigga in the room. Niggas was doing songs, and every time a nigga did a song, we ain't have no social media. We came outside and debated in the lunchroom in high school. We debated on the corner. We debated in the barbershop who had the best verse. Now these niggas do songs. The songs don't even have verses that could be the best verse. All these niggas are swag rapping and rapping about fun and cars and bitches. You know, I want to hear niggas. Now nah, I want to hear niggas you know get to the, the bars, bro. You know who did the Kumbaya shit, though? Who made it like that? Who? The same nigga I'm picking up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, that's I'm it, but that's showing you my unbiasedness, that's though. It, that's my. I'm showing you my. All I'm saying is a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas that's turning on him is the niggas that he helped pipe up. Even the niggas that's not. I wish I would see a DJ Cal like nigga Drake got his hands paws on all of the all these niggas' sons. No, but all he has them. he has great. One all thing I say. Sons. One thing I say about the nigga, right? Because I never, <laughs> me and Drake ain't never formally meet each other, and I think I've had my differences with him on because on everyday struggle and this and the third. I do respect the nigga. I think that he's one of the best niggas to do it. Even when you know people try to get on him for like the right and the, the right and shit and this and the third, I still think that he's one of the best niggas and all of that. But end of the day, bro, like in hip hop, this shit all comes down to the conversation about like who's the best. You grew up in a time too when niggas was banging on it. All mm -hmm. of us them been in the lunchroom. I don't give a fuck what era you from. We all been in the lunchroom and it been battles. And it been and 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 and, and niggas say yo this nigga he the nigga or he the nigga and it's, it's rapper battle rappers from Baltimore everywhere every and and when it all the essence of hip hop is battling now what I love about this is I mean I don't foresee no bullshit coming out of it no you know what I mean yeah, I don't think but so. like I I that's love, a good thing about it yeah that's the great thing about it but I feel like this is a great time because I me personally as big like I said bro I kind of agree with you on a lot of shit because as big as a Kendrick fan as I am I do believe <laughs> look that trying to embarrass no I'm not just saying you know like trying to embarrass me on camera because they ain't gonna see that part nah they gonna see that part too but <laughs> I'm just saying yeah, it's like I'm gonna clip this bitch up first clip of all, this shit up. I'm the one that make the clips you fuck niggas but <laughs> it's so good listen he know what he doing you know what I mean the, the brother know what he doing but I'm just saying it's like I do believe that this nigga Drake like when you put him in that mold. I, yo, I love the rant that academics had, bro. When he said, man, he said, sexy red, no more twerking, bend the don, no more skits. 
He like, nigga, it's wartime, nigga. No plane on the field. Women and children, get the fuck out the way. I love act doing that. You want to know why? Because that nigga's like Don King. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people look at his platform whether you like the nigga or not, and he kind of sets the precedent yeah. for when these things go on. And I think that, like, even Chubbs, yeah, shout out to Chubbs. I'm happy he did that. You want to know why? Because that's only making a nigga Kendrick. If he is on that type of time, Aiden Ross could have been fucking lying. But if he is on that type of time, making him going to go in and probably say something about him. And then Drake going to defend, you know, Drake going front line Chubbs on the song. This shit is all beautiful, bro. What happens if Drake come out in this future? Do you think, because you said this, I hate it, but what? whatever. Another, just a thought that I seen. I think Joe Button was talking about it. What? I think they were saying that they don't know if Drake can... They they, they think that would be an interest, inter, interesting beef because even though Future can't bar you up, he can drop a club song. Yeah. No, if I'm Future, I'm dissing Drake too. <laughs> no, bro, if I'm Future, I'm, I'm saying... Because cause you know we're not going to get 40 from Future. Yeah. But we go... Like, we you could get some... He throw some clever lines in it. Bro, this shit is... That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit is fun. Because I, I feel like... I feel like end of the day, right, is like all of these niggas... Regardless, like, I think as much as they going through this, Drake respects Kendrick. Yeah, for and sure. I think that Kendrick does respect Drake. And let's keep like, we keep <laughs> skipping over this Cole. Uh, yeah, nah, Cole, Cole, bro. But this Cole, let's not I, do that, yo, bro. I love Cole, bro. Like, cause Cole, yo, Cole just he's another nigga that he wants to see niggas do good. But man. Nigga, take this shit back to the state but property even, days. Right. How, look, look, take this shit back to the state property days when it used to be Beans and Young Chris and you and JID go bomb on niggas right quick. Yo, bro, it's fun, bro. Like, and that's when I, even with Cole, though. Cole and Drake both. I'm not trying to hear that bigger person shit. Yeah. Go to the studio. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not, bro. No. And because Cole, because even I'm, I'm, I'm running the other day, I'm listening to Forest Hill Drive. Cole, one of them. And, and, and if, if, I'm, if I'm Kendrick, I could very well be taking a lot of the shit he was saying to heart. On Forest Hill Drive? Yes. Nah. Yes. Bro, they did a remix to two songs over Forest no, Hill Drive saying, together. No, but I'm just saying I could, because he was he was popping a lot of shit about niggas being the best, but I'm the best. Like he Yeah, but everybody, but bro, every like, all right, look, bro, everybody feels like they, like, all right, look, look, offset just said, offset just said, like, he said, who's the best like groups of all time? He was on Club Shay Shay shit. Yeah, yeah. He said Outcast, then us. Then he said, um, he said, who after that? He said, Wu Tang. He like, eh, nah. He said, the locks, bro. When he said the fucking locks, I was ecstatic because that's my time, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I think that like, like uh, I think um offset is probably like early 30s, yeah. like, yeah, like early 30s. But like they were they love Jada kissing them niggas. You know what I mean? They uh, niggas love a lot Jada of, kiss but a lot everywhere. Of that got, but a, but, 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 but a lot of that came from what have you done for me lately? Though? No, but but I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily what have you done for me lately. It's a because it, because the locks just had a great moment. It's a few not, years but, ago. but it's not that though. It's all it's about like what was in your timeline, right? Like what was in your timeline. It's like for, for this I, when Wu Enter the Thirty Six Chambers came out, bro. I was in the fifth grade when the album came out. Wu Tang was my favorite like group for a minute. You know what I mean? As opposed to Run. See when Run DMC came out, I was little little four or five years old. You know what I'm saying? When Wu Tang came out. I love they shit because I love karate movies. I love Method Man. I love all of everything. But when the locks came out, bro, I How was in high when school. The... When the locks came out, no, when the first time I heard the locks, I was in middle school. They was on the you'll see, um, you'll see with Biggie. And I was in, I was starting the eighth grade at that time. Mm -hmm. And that was 95. You know see, what I'm saying? I only ask that because when I say is more so what have you done for me lately? Because me personally, mm -hmm. I feel like Offset might be younger than me. I don't know. We might be the same age. Y'all are the same age? I, I don't think I would have mentioned the locks respectfully. I can acknowledge it now because after the battle, I definitely listened to some shit. But when you say you was listening to the locks in high school, that's t 11 years. That That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you're, what, uh, in high school, how old you was in high school? Like, I was, I was when the locks came out, like, I was, shit, shit, life after death anniversary was 27 years ago. I was 14. Yeah, 14. I'm three. I'm not listening. You know what I'm I know, so, but I'm not saying, so, no, what I'm uh, saying is, is like, so look, what I'm saying is, is like, because you said to what have you done for me lately, right? What I'm saying is, is like, you also gonna the music that you're gonna identify with. Of course, I expect him to say Outkast because they from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But like the locks, it might just be more the grungy street shit. And it's a three man group. Remember, Wu Tang is nine niggas. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, NWA was five niggas. So you also gonna also identify with the plight of what the music was about. The the lock shit was all about the streets. They made an album called "We Are the Streets." Money, power, respect, and they never let up. 
Show me a year when Styles, Chic, or Kiss wasn't dropping something. Their names is always relevant in hip hop because they're always doing something. See, I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't have thought of them. Like I, I probably would have thought of uh fucking diplomats. Or like like I would have probably thought of. But like, diplomats, bro. The locks was they was at the same time. The diplomat Dipset came after. Yeah, Dipset. and Dip, Dipset was never like an official group. They, they yeah. like a conglomerate was, together, but they not in a because Dip. If you say diplomats, the original members is Kim. Jewels and and Jim, but then you start adding on Hell Rells and Jewels and fucking um, uh, uh, I mean, I said Jewels, I mean J R Ryder. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Forty Cal. You know what I mean? Then you got the Seven Thirty Dips. Then you got Dipset Bird Gang, which was uh, then I'm fucking, thinking about Hot Boys. Like I'm not Mel Matrix and but it, it's that's all the about, ones I would say. Like, yeah, Hot Boys. You're gonna, I wouldn't. Have, Respect to the but blocks. I, 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 was I just, just wouldn't have thought of the. I locks. was just saying that all 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 to say is like you know all this shit be about this perspective, bro. Like even if I, I I fuck with you about the Kendrick shit, but like you're not wrong for saying what you say. This is this is you're why just good at this and it's good. It's fine. No, but this is the whole thing about hip hop and hip hop debates, right? It's like, and that's the point I was making when we was having the whole sexy red lotto shit. Is like, yeah, bro, don't get me wrong, bro, because remember I did Rolling Loud after that, and she was performing, bro. When she did <laughs> fuck my baby daddy, bro, yo, yo, this shit was crazy. Nah, don't backtrack. I'm not backtracking. What I'm saying though is, <sighs> and I feel then like, right after the argument, she dropped. Get it sexy. Yeah, get it sexy. No, but, Stop but I, playing with no, me. but what I'm saying is, I feel like I feel like it's because like it's the popular thing. I'm not negating that is a good song to turn up to, have fun because music goes in certain moods and all of that. That when Lotto get on that stage, she don't kick ass. That's all I'm saying. You know yeah. what I mean? Because people people would be like, but I said Lotto can rap. though. I know, but that wasn't the point we was making. Yeah, I'm saying, you know I, I mean? but I said Sexy Red hit harder. I said she made better songs. You said she made better music. Say, I, you said yeah, she made yeah. ma better music. I did. I did. What I was music. saying, again, I yeah, got to yeah. get better my words. I was just saying she hit no, but harder. That's why I said music is subjective. I but think we she all, hit harder. My that's brother. That's it. That's it. Because right after the argument, I seen it. Getting sex. I'm like, yo, Now, you know why? what? I'm going to tell y'all, y'all. You know why? You know why I really like this nigga J-Hill? Because it's like, J-Hill is like, the little brother I've been searching for to argue with. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like this, my nigga. Like for real, we be having so many different conversations, and every right. time we, every time we do come on here, we debate, and we, we, we just having fun. But like, we get a chance to like argue up here. Like before anybody was in here, me and this nigga was just us. Yeah. We arguing all the way up to here, but it's all in good fun. So yeah. it's like, I, you know, man, then, I appreciate us doing this shit. No, nah, fact, because right. even we be having conversations outside, of, like. We be having real conversations that that, that niggas don't see. That just right. be super real. We, we like, had you know I mean? one real conversation, but we ain't like that. I no. ain't, that, that episode, we ain't like that. You ain't put it out? I put it on Patreon. I ain't posting on YouTube. Okay. It, it was, was a lot good, of, though. So send me some clips from it, because it was some good, nigga. Yeah. I was on some, I was on my Master Yoda shit yeah, up there. Yeah, that shit was good, bro. So like, yeah. that, that's the shit they don't see. But that but that was like, it was like also a different side of us, because we was talking like, we was talking about like mental health. We was talking about some real, <laughs> we was talking about some real shit. We was on our Dr. Phil. Like, you know what I mean? We was on our Dr. That Phil shit. Good, but nah, man, this shit good. Yeah. Uh, we going to do this. Uh, I ain't going to lie. We can't put a date on this. Nah. We can't even do two weeks, man. We got to just pull up, bro. Whenever we got time, we just got to pull up. You know what I mean? crazy. And I know you putting, like, Patreon, but you got to let shit fly, no, I'm not, too. Yeah, I, I can't. You got to let shit fly. It's too late. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, you got to let shit fly. Yeah, it's a dub. This is... All right. Wayne, no, uh, this is... Can you please tell your people this is not an interview? Yeah, this is not an interview. Yeah, because people think... <laughs> but, but you know, you want to know why, bro, because it's like, you got to think, right? We kind of been confusing the audience because we never announced that. Because yeah. it ain't really. I'm, I'm because not gonna you say said this. you can't be my co host. Yeah, I'm not this nigga co host. I just wish y'all know that. I'm not this nigga co host. This is my young boy right here. You cool. Feel me? Like, uh, you see? Nah, I'm playing. Don't I'm playing, got I'm the playing. ego. I'm good. Nah, I ain't I got no go. ego, man. I ain't Bro, got no ego. Bro, I just but. feel like, yo, we gotta just let niggas know we doing something together. That's my point. But that's the thing. I mean, we 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 being consistent. You know what I mean? And the say more less. consistent we are, that's all that matters, yeah. my dog. Say less, man. We out.